Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, glad you guys all can make it, hope you guys are having a great day so far, hope you guys had a great morning, hope you guys had a great weekend, hope you guys are having a great Monday so far, and uh, yeah, as you guys see, we have a new aircraft, um, seems like most of you guys want to see the Embraer uh, 175 and 195, so this is... Uh, this is what we're flying today, and uh, I'm not flying on any sort of network because I'm just learning these airplanes, so I don't want to... I don't want to go on VATSIM and not have a plane that I'm not... <laughs> that I don't know how to fly yet, so um, we're going to be learning these aircraft. This is really my first time going to be pushing buttons, being in the cockpit of this aircraft, flying this aircraft, anything. Um, so I have no idea, so this may be a long stream because I'm going to be sitting in the cockpit trying to figure out where things are. Um, I did fly the SSG E170 a little bit, so I am a little bit familiar with some of the systems, not all though, as the x craft is a little bit different from SSG. But, um, other than that, uh, let me go and finish up getting our fuel, just need to write everything down, and then we'll be good to go. And, um, I will probably go AFK every now and then, because, uh, my niece, I'm, uh, watching my niece, so she's, uh, she's outside my room, so I'm probably going to be checking out, um, checking on her every now and then. Uh, anyways, we're going to be carrying a total of 7,109 pounds of fuel. Uh, we are going to be having a house index of 6. One moment. Alright, I am back. Alright, so we're going to be carrying a... I don't know what the... Okay, possible extras 1.6, so... There we go. Uh, I don't know if we need our zero fuel weight. I'm going to get it. I'm going to write it down just in case, so I don't have to come back to this. 887. There we go. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, the chat pulled up for you guys. And let's go and get into the uh, cockpit of the plane. So... Here's the cockpit of the plane. It actually doesn't look that bad. Looks pretty nice. Also, by the way, guys, I got HTC. I got my Vive yesterday, so my VR headset. And um, we're going to be doing some VR videos in the future. Maybe not streams, but definitely maybe some videos and stuff of, uh, of me messing around with the Vive. Um, doing some Onward. Doing some x 11, of course. x 11 is... Um, I got a plugin that makes x 11 compatible with, uh, with, the, um, uh, with, the Vi with the Vive, so it would be pretty cool. With requirements to join your airline, I only have about 200 hours of flying next way. There are no requirements. Um, just get in the airline, fly, and have some fun. That's all it is. Just to have some fun, grow the uh, grow the VA. Um, I think we're I think we're at like 40 million right now, which is not good for an airline. But for our airline, for starting out at like zero dollars and making our way up, we're making some good progress. So we're at like about 40 million, 41 million or so around that, and we'll be buying some new aircrafts. And I think somebody's actually calling me now. We're good. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to go and get the music uh, cut off early because this is a new aircraft I'm learning, so um, don't I want to make sure that uh, make sure that my brain is thinking straight. Anyways, I'm going to see who's here before we start getting some stuff uh, uh, started off here. American Navy, welcome to stream. Pacos Tacos, welcome to stream. Takeoff Aviation, welcome to stream. Lee Ray, JSR, welcome to the stream. Patrick the Fox, welcome to the stream. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Epic Cash, welcome to stream. And I think that's about everybody. IFP Gavin, welcome to stream. Hope you guys are all doing well. Let's go ahead and see. Is the X-Craft EMB-175? Yes, this is, uh, this is the EMB-175 Epper Cash. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, when's the last day for the Delta 747? No idea. Uh, we're going Air Berlin stats. <laughs> All right, so let's go and get this. Uh, let's go and get this. Uh, go through this checklist here, because I have no idea. The cool thing is, this checklist is actually pretty well, pretty well done. It looks like, so um, it'll be amazing. Okay, so main status, I think, or main maintenance, uh, maintenance status. I'm not gonna worry about that. So, um, I think I don't know how you get the ground power on. I think you just do the ground power, right? Is there like a ground power button somewhere? Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm learning this aircraft. This is my first time being in this aircraft, so I have no idea where every, where anything is. Or where every where a single button is. I know where some things are, but um, 
Not too much. I think I should go to here, right? Request pushback toggle ground equipment power unit. I think we got it. What's ground equipment? Like the door or something? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, ground equipment. Let's see what that is. What's ground equipment? I don't really know what ground equipment is, but we have GPU, so we're good. <laughs> Alright, let's go and get our checklist back up here. I'm going to put it over here instead. Uh, GPU's out. Main battery 1 and 2 are off. Uh, fuel DC pumps and all that stuff. Uh, fuel DC pumps. Um, fuel DC pump. Is supposed to be on. Okay, I guess it... Oh, I can't turn it on. Okay. So maybe auto or off. I don't know. I guess we're just going to leave it off for now. Uh, windshield wipers are off. Hydraulic system pumps are 1 and 2. Uh, hydraulic system pumps. Where are you? Right there. Hydraulic system pumps 1 and 2. I guess we'll turn those on to auto. I guess auto is on if I'm correct. If auto is auto on. I'm assuming auto is on. So we're just going to turn those all on to auto. Uh, landing gear lever is down. Power plant starts uh, start slash stop 1 and 2. are They should be at stop, I'm assuming. We'll just assume that they are. Um, speed brake lever is closed, thrust lever, battery 1 and 2 will be coming on. There we go. APU gen will be coming on. I don't know if the light, if the light is on, does that mean it's off or on? What was that noise? Clear those, that's what it is. Okay, um, APU gen, I don't know if it's on, but, uh, if anybody could help me with that. If, if the light is on, does that mean it's on or off? Does anybody know? think on the right. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. If you guys could answer that for me. SSG EMB 195 sucks in terms of graphics. They are coming out with a new M uh, EMB, but um, I'm kind of actually ready for this. It's going to look pretty cool. Look pretty good, I I'd say. They already have images of it. It's pretty good looking. I might I might get that depending on price. <clears throat> okay, so we'll skip past that part and I'll, I'll just read the comments for you guys. Um... So yeah. Um. All right, where are we? Okay, electric power and air conditioning. So are these on or off? I can't tell if the lights mean it's on or off. So if somebody could. Somebody could answer that for me, please. If anybody knows, I'm completely lost. Uh, Skittles, hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. Hope you're doing well. Good day. AP is off, so maybe the gens won't work. So the light means it's on. I guess we'll figure it out. Let's go and turn the ground power on. All right, so uh, pre-flight procedures and routing and route waypoints. Uh, are we really are we supposed to work on our FMC? I guess so. Okay, so I don't know this FMC very well. Um... I have no idea how to use this FMC, so just bear with me on this, guys. Um, as I learn, I'm still, like I said, I'm learning this entire plane. I've never touched this plane yet, so I have no idea what to do um, in terms of this FMC. This FMC is brand new to me. I have no idea how to use it, so... Um, see, I'm just trying to get a feel for everything right now. I think we go Departure. We set our... Enter departure, so KSFO. Okay. Uh, we select our runway, so we're going to be taking off on 01 left. Uh, how do you do this? Is it like scroll wheel thing? Okay, it is scroll, and then you just press that. Okay, cool. Uh, so we choose one left. Okay, select SID. Okay, this isn't that bad. It's not bad. Alright, so we're going to be on the stick. 3 departure. How do you go to next page? Is there like an next page button somewhere? Right there? Yeah, okay. Alright, so stick three. And we're going to select our transition of uh, eBay. I'm going to do that. And then how do you execute? Do you just... Does it automatically set for you? Execute? Um, I think that's good. Uh, let's go to MCDU. Uh, is there like a route page? Or like a... Um, hmm. Add route waypoints. Okay, so this is, a, I'm assuming, where you add, like, way... Okay, enter new um, nav ID. Okay, so I think that's where you enter, like, new waypoints. That's good to know. 
Um, let's go back. Let's go to progress. No, that doesn't show us. Where is our flight plan? I guess it doesn't show. Okay, we'll go to arrival and we'll send our arrival airport. So KLAX. I'll get to your guys' comments here in case you guys answered my uh, my question. APU is off, so maybe Jim won't work as the show is on. Okay. Well, I, th I think the APU is on now, right? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> but I'm going to KMSP with my dad to pick up someone. Also, the person is flying uh, Sun Country. Nice. So, yeah, we have to do the Sun Country livery, too. I'll have to see if there's one out there already, but um, we'll definitely probably look into doing that. Right, so, we're going to be landing on uh, 2.5 two, two five left, is I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll land... Uh, I think United Park's to the south of LA, so we'll... Um, We'll set up for a two five right or a two five left. I meant. All right, two five left. We'll set in our star. Uh, we'll set in the. We're gonna be on the uh, Iron Man one departure or arrival. I meant. Uh, so it's not here. We're gonna go next. Find Iron Man. I pass it. I think I did. Not in here. Oh, I think it uses its own nav system, doesn't it? I didn't update the nav system thinking it was it was gonna have its own nav or thinking it was gonna go off the default nav system. Unless T five left doesn't have Iron Man one. I mean it should. But I don't I just don't think I have it updated yeah, I don't think I have the updated um I don't think I have the updated, uh, what's it called? Updated nav system on here. I thought it went off the default nav system, but apparently it doesn't. That's alright. Um, we'll just, uh, we'll go with the Sadie 7, because that's like almost, almost the same exact thing. And, uh, we'll go off of the, uh, Ventura. Yeah, we'll go off that one right there. So that's pretty good. And do our transition. Uh, we're going to be on the, um, river. Yeah, river for ILS 2, 2 5 left. And we'll select our approach. That's already selected, actually. And we'll execute. Let's hit that just in case. And the init doesn't work. Go back to MCD menu. FMC data initialize. Okay, cool. So how do you see your waypoints that you set in? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Let me see, let me read you guys' comments. Take off aviation, have a great rest of your day, and we'll hopefully see you in a bit or see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. AP is on the overhead panel in the center switch is the uh, is in the stop position. Don't really need until Okay, so the so the light being turned on is it that means it's off, correct? So when that light is off, like if I press it, that means it's off. That's it means it's on, correct? If you could answer that, that would be so helpful. And thank you. Uh, let's go to progress, let's see what the progress is. So is there is there like any sort of route page? Oh wait, flight plan. I saw it. Hold on, flight plan. The flight plan loaded. Okay, but are our waypoints loaded? Looks like our waypoints are all low. no. I don't know. How do you do this? Did our transition and everything right? No, everything. I think everything got removed. Okay, one left. Stick three. Transition. Was it because our navs weren't aligned at the time, maybe? Let me try. Um... How do you work this plane? I'll edit? Nope. Is there like a way you can actually like see your waypoints that you're putting? Because I can't see any waypoints. I'm so confused. <laughs> This plane is confusing. Autopilot? No. Is there like a checklist here for the FMC? I hope so. Oops, what did I just turn? I think I just turned on one of the start switches. Oh, now it's supposed to be like that. Okay, we're good.
Oh, I just I just did that. Uh, procedures and waypoints entered. Performance? No, it's not performance. Sit at it. Oh, it is working. Oh, so it looks like it is working, but I have no idea how to. I guess this is the way you see your waypoints, right? That's weird. Okay. Um, that's alright, I guess. How do you set the, uh, FMC to, how do you set this to nav, or FMC? Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of the yoke here. I am sitting back, like, really far, but that's not that bad. that change it? Oh wait, that did change it. Okay. So now it's on FMS mode, but I have no idea uh, how to do this. Let's go back to MCDU. Uh, let's see what you guys are doing. Uh, maybe it's armed? Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming a lot of you guys haven't flown this plane then, but that's alright. We'll learn we'll, we'll learn together. Alright, so waypoints. Um, okay, so this is where you do waypoints, so that's, that's, that's easy. That's easy enough. Um... Let's just save flight plan autopilot. Uh, target heading. Yes, mock. Okay, nav source. It's on GPS. It shouldn't be on GPS. It should be on FMS. Okay. How do you change that? How do you change that? Hmm. This is a tough one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just continue, and we'll get back to the FMC here in a bit. Okay. Uh, fuel quantity. Let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, let's go to flight. We'll go to edit weight and balance, and we'll change the. Uh, total fuel weight to 7,109. Go ahead and enter that. Hit done. Apply. Change our fuel. We've got our timeters. We're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, we'll go to uh, MCDU menu. Go to performance. And I think it. I think all the stuff automatically sets for you. Looks like it does. Can't really tell. Fuel left, fuel right. So I think it did, yeah, it did enter a fuel for us, so that's good. Um, total weight and everything automatically enters in. We're going to performance two. Uh, cruise, okay, here we go. Here's the cruise. Uh, cruise out two is going to be 310. I don't know how you set that, but okay. Oops. Set 310. Oh, you can actually use your keyboard. Oh, that. I can't set my. I can't set the cruise. Go performance three. It's two performance one. I have no idea, guys. Oh, there we go. That's average. Okay, top of top of time. Okay, I see it. All right, top of climb, top of descent. Okay, and then your mock. So I'm assuming you can only change the things that are in yellow. Okay, so cruise wind speed. I have no idea. We're just not. We're not going to worry about that. Cruise altitude or uh, mock speed. Cruise speed. I think that'll set automatically. We might have to set that ourselves. I don't know. Um, VNAV profile. Hundred uh, fifteen hundred feet. Oh, you can actually set your own profile. That's actually cool. We'll go fifteen hundred feet per minute. Um. Don't worry about that. Icing, no. Um, units in pounds. Okay, so I think that's the performance done. So I think our route. I think our route is complete. I think we're good. Let's go and continue on. If we crash, we crash, right? <laughs> if, we, if we crash, we crash. All right, let's go and get our. Uh, let's go and see. Whoops, that's not it. That's decision height. I actually set our decision height at 200. 
And our, here we go, here's our bear, uh, I'm gonna get the uh, altimeters here, so let's go, oh yeah, I only have my X and Vire on, no I do not, I'm gonna get that turned on. And we'll check our weather. Uh, let's go to X and Vire, we're gonna go ahead and go to weather briefing, we'll check the weather briefing for SFO, there we go. Uh, Alpha Center is 310, or 3010. Yep. Okay, uh, two meters are set, passenger signs, uh, wherever those are located. There we go. Sounds are really quiet, let me go and turn the sounds up. Yeah, they're really quiet. There we go. Now we can hear stuff. Uh, departure review complete, I guess, for the most part. Doors and windows are closed. Um, uh, red beacon will be coming on. I guess we're getting ready for a push. Yeah, this plane's actually super easy to start up. It's not bad to start up. Let's go and get our APU running, by the way. Uh, how do you start your APU? Do I get your AC power onto auto? I'm assuming AC power goes onto auto. Let me go ahead and check real quick. Uh, DC pumps and AC pumps one and two. So I'm assuming auto is on. Um, what's our, where's our GPU, or APU at? Okay. So, I think we are good to go. I think we're good to go. Just make sure everything here is checked, because it's kind of a short checklist. AC power is on auto, true, 1 and 2 are on auto. And then true essentials is also on auto. Uh, nav lights will be coming on. Third column just below the extinguishers for APU. Third column just... Oh, right there. Okay, I see it. Thank you. Try starting it. See if it'll work. That's rising, yeah. It's going. Thank you. Thank you, Ruto. Or Ruto. Is it Ruto or is it Ruto? Sorry if I said your name Oh yeah, I forgot you could pop these out. It's actually pretty cool. You can actually like pop these out. Be awesome. I like it. Okay, the AP is 100%. Wow, this AP starts up fast. Alright, that's the moment of truth. Oh, okay, so the lights extinguished are. That means they are on. Cool. Okay. Thank you for that. Either works, no problem. <laughs> yeah, thank you again. Uh, wind heat, windshield heating, we'll go and get those on. Uh, ice protection, not gonna worry about. Uh, pack, okay, so the lights, when the uh, lights are extinguished, that means they're on. Okay, so that's helpful, that's good. Okay, APU's already started, yeah, APU's good. Bleed air APU is good as well, I think we turned that to APU. Nope, I don't think it likes that. No, nope, it didn't like that. <laughs> Alright, um, bleed air is on eight. Is that the bleed air switch though, right? Well, we got the bleed one and two. I think that's... I don't understand why it's beeping at me, but I'm assuming that's what you're supposed to set it to, right? And we'll, we'll see what happens. Like I said, if we crash, we crash, right? Danny Zuri, what's up? Welcome to stream. Glad you can make it. Hopefully you're doing well. Alright, so displays are on and verified. We got those engine one and two ignitions. Uh, I need to set up a camera for that. That's actually pretty bad. Ignitions one and two. That's power plant. Where's the ignition at? Uh, ignition. Was that the ignition down there? Ignition... Is this the ignition here? Now it's hydraulics, I think. I can't even interact with those anyways. Um, I guess these are the ignitions down here, right? Oh yeah, there it is right there. Auto, auto. Okay, I was looking at these here. That's the start the engines. Okay, uh, engines 2 and 1. Start 5 seconds. We have the AP on, so we're fine there. Oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what... I always think that's the plane screaming at me. I was like, why? Why is the plane screaming at me? But um, we'll check out who that is in a bit. 
let me go ahead and uh, grab because again, as always, as per every single stream, my Streamlabs crashes on me at like at like when I first start and start the stream. I don't know why, and I gotta figure out why it does that. But we'll see. Figure out who that is. Let's go ahead and see. If Streamlabs will open anytime soon. Uh, Jason Chang, thank you for the uh, subscription. Very much appreciate. Glad you're enjoying. Hope you're doing well. Take off aviation. Welcome back. That was fast. Okay, so we're about to get ready for pushback, and I think there's a default push pushback, but I don't know how it works. So let's go and figure it out. Let's go and figure it out. Might as well do it now, right? Um. Enable tab hotkey. What is that? I don't use tab for anything, so I might have that enabled. What is the tab hotkey? I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe it's that. Maybe I shouldn't have that on because I can't go to my views. Uh oh. Am I typing that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. I can't go to my view. Did I, did I press something wrong that I shouldn't have? I'm, I'm, I'm typing something at the FMC somewhere. Uh, one sec. I gotta figure out... What did I do? Oh, oh, tab. Oh, tab does it. Okay, I see what it does. So tab does that, and then you get to type inside. Ah, I get it. I see it. Okay, let's make sure we for we remember that. Not, not forget about that. Alright, so sit at it. Again, I don't know what I don't know how to how to go to like the the page where you get to see your routes. I have no idea how to go to that. Is that even a thing in this plane? Route edit, no route loaded. I don't understand. I hope the plane follows our what we put here. I'm assuming that this is how you set it up. This is the only thing I can do. Okay, so the waypoints are loaded. So I'm, I'm assuming it's fine. We're on FMC mode, right? Yeah, we're on FM or FMS mode. But there's no waypoints showing up. At all. It's going to be a kind of a scary one, guys. I don't know how to work this FMC, and I don't know if it's correct, but we'll figure it out, right? But for some reason, it's saying we're in GPS mode. I have no idea why. We're going to go and get our flight... What's wrong? Okay. Oh, it's because our brake. Okay, that's alright. We want our brakes on. So... I don't. I just don't know how to change the, the thing on here. How do you change the? I can't see our route. So, again, guys, if we if we crash, we crash. All right. We're gonna try our best, but no, no promises. We can actually use the default. Nah, we don't want to do that. Default's boring, right? All right. So let's go and get. So let's go and just do the pushback. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go to... Where's the pushback plugin? It's over here somewhere. Uh, pushback is disabled. Oh, request pushback. There we go. Oh! Oh, how do you, how do, you do it? How do you move that? Oh! Oh, that's, so, that's actually pretty cool. I forgot that this was in this plane. Um, left pivot? Left pivot? Left, nope. Uh, left pivot. Uh, closer. Uh, closer. Closer. Right there. I think that'll do. Yeah, right there will do. So we have to uh, go that way, anyways. That's actually where we have to go. We'll push back like right there. We'll accept it. We crash. We crash. That's reassuring. <laughs> I definitely on the last retired seven, uh, United seven four seven. Nice. Okay, so we do want to confirm that. I cannot hear what he's saying.
Bravo 11 Alpha. Use the FMC. Does these FMCs not work? These do the FM do the custom FMCs not work? I saw people using them. A flight plan not loaded. Why is the flight plan not loaded? The thing is, like, why is the flight plan not loading though? That's the problem. So does this FMC not work or something anymore? The sky was 318. Might as well look up a video on how to use that. So we're, for now, I guess we're just going to use the default FMC. Um, just because I have no idea how to use the custom one. But thank you guys for trying to help if you guys were trying to figure anything out. No active runway, of course. This one, see, this one has the updated air act cycle, so this one I can actually choose the Iron Man one if I find it. There you guys just passed it. So this one, so the default FMC does have my, uh, my, um, what's it called? My updated air act cycle. We're going to use ILS T5 left, and we're going to be on, uh, Circus, I think it is, is what you're supposed to be on. The legs. We need discos. Where's the execute button? There it is. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go to climb page. Uh, climb's good. Uh, no, cruise. Let's go to cruise. Uh, cruise altitude is 310. Let's unclear all that. I'm not going to worry about it. Um... And then our, D, our VNAV descend. So that's all good there. Okay. Uh, I think that's really it. That's all we can do with the default FMC. Does it work? Okay, so yeah, that seems to work. What is all that, though? Hold on, let me, let me, let me figure this out real quick. How do you zoom out? There we go. What the heck is all of that? I don't know what all that is, but it doesn't look too promising. <laughs> Let's go and pull this up real quick and step through our flight plan real quick. Okay, so we go on to first waypoint. We go on to well, first waypoint, then stick, then port. I'll zoom out a little bit here, figure out where this broken waypoint is. Then Susie, then eBay. Oh, then it goes back there. That's not good. That should fix that. Then it should be on our arrival. Okay, cool. So that works. Okay, let me go back to the first page then and see if it's messed up. Okay, so that's what it was. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that back down there. Okay, um, how do how do we how do we be, how do we do the pushback? Do we just lose park brake form? Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's a really fast lift. All right, guys, we can finally get out of here. Oh wow, he pushes back fast. Um, well, I guess we can start our engines. Uh, let's go and pull up our checklist. Uh, true one and two is good. True essentials are all good. All right, we start our engines now. So do we hold it for five seconds? Two, three, four, five. Release. Okay, there it goes. Can't hear anything though. Looks like it's starting though. Don't forget to execute the change. Oh yeah, you're right. Did I do it? I think I did. Did I? Let's go to plan mode first. 
Where's my FMC? Oh, oh I was had my placement wrong. Alright, let's uh clear all of that. Push back complete. Please and execute that. We will disconnect. Have a great flight. Okay, cool. This pushback is fast. Alright, well let's go and bring this back to the uh well, let's go and bring this back to the MCDU page for now, I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, um, did our engine start? That engine's super quiet. Oh, there it goes. It's coming alive now. Okay, looks like a good engine, so we'll go ahead and close that. We'll start this one here. Find there we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Release. Engines coming alive. I didn't know that was going to be the default FMC. Thank you for that. You open the windows, us? Oh, you can. Cool. Well, <laughs> we're finally going to get off of the uh, ground here, guys. Let's go and wait for this engine to finish starting. Is he done yet? Oh, no, he's just now lowering us, I think. Yep, there he goes. Did the engine not start? Oh, it's starting now, I think. Yep, there he goes. It's climbing. Oh, I think it's just spinning, it's just, yeah, it's just acting, it's just spinning really weird. Okay, um, oh yeah, I don't think we got our beacon on, did we? No, we did not. Uh, nav lights are on, logos don't need to come on. Uh, text lights will be coming on later. Can I not change that? I don't think I can. I guess it's already set to auto for us, so that's fine. <coughs> Serious one three five seven nine eight. What's up? Welcome to stream. Glad you can make it. Hopefully you're doing well. Would you try the N one? Uh, the N one. What do you mean by that? All right. So make sure that engine's good. We are good. Let's go ahead and get the AP turned off. AP is off. Bleed air will be set to both. Uh, displays on and verified. And oh, that's why I skipped. I actually went back up. Packs are on. Let's go to the after start flight controls and check. Oh, my pedals are not working. Are my pl pedals plugged in? I don't think they were plugged in. They were not plugged in. Um, one sec, I gotta find where my pedal. Uh, I think these are my pedals here, are they? Uh, they might. You know, these aren't my pedals. Where are my pedals at? Where are my pedal plugs at? I gotta find them. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hold on, guys, I'll be right back. My niece needs me. It's actually important, so I'll be right back.
Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My niece uh, has a loose tooth and um, she doesn't like her teeth being loose. So I had to go check on it, make sure it wasn't uh, make sure it wasn't anything serious because she did have a bad fall and it's her back tooth so she's fine. But um, she's doing fine. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm probably going to have to be watching every now and then so uh, we probably just blood a bunch of people, but that's alright. Um, I said to go check on my niece, make sure she was okay, because she gets freaked out about that stuff, but she's alright. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, trim our aircraft here. Where Where's the trim located on this plane? Wait, it's up here? One more. Oh, there it is, right there. I don't know where our takeoff trim is, so we're alright. Um, anyways, hope you guys can still hear me. We're going to go and get the music uh, paused here, and we're going to go on to Nightbot and uh, play some music there. But once my... Once my um, my dad and my, um, brother comes home, I'm probably gonna have them look at it, cause she doesn't, I don't know, well, she trusts me with it, but it, I'm not gonna pull it just yet, because it's not that loose, but, uh, yeah, she's, she's fine. She just freaks out about that stuff, that's all. Okay, let me see, let's go to Auto DJ, and we'll have Nightbot play some music for you guys. Okay, um, oh yeah, I forgot to change the view, you're right, That's, sorry about that, I was getting everything all set up on my second monitor, okay, now you guys should be able to see, alright, so flight controls are checked, pitch and trim is, uh, in the green, I guess, yeah, it's in the green, so, it's fine, um, eye cast check, shoulder harness, whatever, flaps will be set, I don't know what our flap speeds are, or flaps are supposed to be set to, uh, does anybody know what the, f the f default flap takeoff, uh, for e uh, E-175 is, we're just gonna say 2. Alright, that's our checklist complete. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Release park brake. Oh yeah, I didn't plug in my pedals. That's right. I need to plug in my pedals real quick. I need to find where my pedals are. Uh, one moment. I need to probably dig around a little bit. I think I see them, actually. If I could just grab it. Oh, there we go. Uh, I just need to figure out where this leads to because my wires are all kind of zip-tied together. Or like Velcro together, I guess, but gotta find it so I can actually get some controls in the in the in the pedals. So I'll pull that. Where is that plug at? I don't know where it's at. It's literally not. It's literally like just leads to nowhere. What the? Must be buried in here somewhere. Okay, I think I found it right there. There you are. All right, I found it. I found it found it let me plug it in real quick I completely forgot because I actually moved my computer downstairs uh, to do the VR with like my family and whatnot yesterday so I just gotta find which way it goes in now come on where's the USB port I cannot find the USB port worth my life right now It was just, we could just unplug this one here it's for the VR. I don't, I'm not using that right now, so. Alright. Do we have pedal controls? There we go. Now we have pedal controls. Alright, let's get out of here. Sorry about that. Alright. Completely forgot to plug in all my stuff. How old am I? Me? Or somebody else? If you're talking about me, I'm 21. Now let's get out of here. Finally. Alright, so, um, before takeoff, takeoff, minimum fuel quantity, all this stuff's good. Transponder, not gonna worry about that. Takeoff config is set. The ground handling feels super good on this plane, by the way. It actually feels really good. I was already set to RTO for us, cool. Uh, speed brakes are armed before takeoff checklist complete. That'll be our after takeoff checklist, we don't need to worry about that. So, like, once we, once we start on our climb, I'm probably gonna go check on my knees again, make sure she's not messing with her tooth. Um, she shouldn't be. Usually she. She doesn't, but. She should be fine. So hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. Hope you're doing well. We're going to do a little bit of Southwest Taxi because we're... Oh, that's going to be annoying. When I'm tapping the brakes. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and get our, uh, our um, FP Realistic Pro running on this plane as well. 
Oh, it already is running. Yeah, it is running. Okay, it's just very light movements. Yeah, ground handling on this plane actually feels really good. So it's, it's a little bit weird sitting in the cockpit of this plane. It feels like my camera's kind of tilted to the right. But it's actually not, which is kind of the weird thing. So it's going to be weird getting used to this. Uh, about to say Southwest Taxi, I see. Yeah, we're doing uh, a little bit of a wild taxi here. We got a 10 knot winds off to our... Uh, we're going to be off on our left once we get a U-turn here onto the runway. <coughs> Feels like this camera sits kind of high. Let's go and bring it down a little bit. There we go. That feels much better if I want to have it down like that. And I could also just kind of access the yoke like that. It's pretty nice. I'm going to have it on so you guys can see the manipulation of the joist of the uh, yoke. So in that way you guys could see uh, what I'm doing and, and whatnot. So for those of you that think about buying this uh, this package or this plane, um, I will go over the best review. If you guys would like that, if you guys want me to go on like a review for it or whatever mode, then I could do that. But for the most part, I'm probably going to be talking about most of it anyways. But uh, for those of you that are looking into buying this aircraft or these aircraft, because there's two of them, um, it's actually cheaper to get the package um, instead of buying both separately. Um, the package for both the E-175 and E-195 are $59.99 or $59.95. But each plane separately, if you buy each plane separate, you have to pay thirty nine ninety nine for each. And if you pay for both, then you actually pay more than you get with, like, the package. So, if you're thinking about getting this plane, get the package. Believe it, th believe it or not, three. Okay, so three flaps, is that what you're talking about? Three for flaps, I think, is what you're answering there. Uh, if anything, we'll, um, we'll see what happens if we break our flaps. Looks like it's pretty normal. I'd say it's pretty normal. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. Let's go and set Toga. Wait, do we have auto throttle running? We're gonna get our yaw damper on. Is there auto throttle? Yeah, there is. I think it automatically enables when I hit Toga. Yeah, it does. Wait, no, it doesn't. Uh, how do you enable this? Toga's not working. That's alright. Let's we'll go full power ourselves. So, we also didn't set our speeds or anything, but that's alright. Alright, where's our V speed? Oh, there we go. Ooh, that is actually pretty nice. That's a lot of power for the size of this plane. Alright, power, uh, gear coming up. Let's go and hide that real quick. actually feels pretty nice. Uh, they got to trim the aircraft a little bit. It's going to bring the speed back. This plane has a lot of get up and go, but probably because it's small with like jet turbines on the, the sides. But other than that, this plane does have a lot of get up and go. Like a lot of get up and go. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's really good. Alright, so now we got to configure autopilot because we didn't do that. So... Make sure we go on nav mode. Is there a V-nav? Yes, there is. Oh, wow, it's gusty. It is gusty. Uh, I don't know what happens if I turn on autopilot. I'm assuming maybe bad things will happen since I don't have my... Alright, there we go. 11,000 will be good. Let's go and get autopilot on. Oh, is it going to follow? Yes, it does. So there's autopilot for you guys. And auto throttle is not... Okay, there we go. Auto throttle's on now. Is it not following VNAV, though? And we'll go ahead and check out the subscriber here in a bit. I'm just going to try to fly this plane before I get into the uh, comments. So it doesn't look like it's following the auto throttle or the VNAV mode. Yeah, it's not following VNAV at all. Alright, we'll bring our flaps up here in a bit once we get up to our speeds. For the most part, though, it's flying the path. I mean, it's doing good. Yes, review mode? Okay. So, 
the one thing that I already said and uh, stated, this plane handles very well. Like, it's very smooth on the controls. It's not bad at all. And the wing flex, the wing flex, guys, like, come on. That wing flex is pretty good. So, yeah, um, it's, it's, um, it, it's a, it feels pretty nice. The autopilot works the FMC's work. Well, that FMC I need to learn, but this FMC does work with the plane, and it is pretty nice. So, if you're looking into buying this plane and looking for more regional jets, this plane is pretty good, guys. Like, this plane is pretty good. I'm going to be flying this a lot more, but we, we got to do the whole flight in order to see that. Because, of course, we still need, we still need to see the landing, um, the, you know, the cruise altitude, the cruising, and all that stuff. So, there's still a lot that we're missing. But, um, for the most part, this plane is actually pretty well done. Um, it feels nice. Like, on takeoff, it, 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 it rotates very nicely. The trim feels nice. Um... It's very smooth on the controls. Uh, I don't know how to get VNAV working. Maybe because we didn't set VNAV in the... Uh, well, no, we did set VNAV, did we? Which one is it? Um, VNAV. So VNAV is set, but I don't know if it works with this specific plane. Let's see if I. Yeah, that actually brings the. Okay, let's bring the throttle back in. So, I don't know what's wrong. With, I don't know if there's something up with V. Maybe it's because I have to turn on. Uh, altitude. No, altitude doesn't work. So, v, it does, the VNAV does climb the plane. I think that's all it does. I think throttles you might have to manage yourself, I think. Basically, just re-enable VNAV, maybe? Okay, so we're above 10,000. We're going to go ahead and actually speed our plane up. 280. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab our lights. So yeah, like I said, the plane, it, it flies well. It flies very, very well. And it follows the, 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 the nav very smooth. Very, very smooth. Um, oh, you can also change the view like that. That is nice. I like the. I like how you can change the view like that. That is. That's a nice feature to have. I absolutely love that feature. I was like, cause I, I hate how to, I had to have to keep on going into the thing like that, into the uh, options. I don't think the. Oh, the weather does work. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're at two hundred and eighty right now. Uh, at nav mode, so we're good on that. Uh, the plane is not climbing anymore. Uh, which is weird. So I don't know if that's a glitch or anything, but what you can also do is you can do flight change. And flight change will also do that as well. So if you do flight change like it is now, it'll pitch for 280, and it's going to go crazy up in the air, just like any other plane, basically. But it's not actually not that bad. It, see, flight. I don't like using flight change in any given plane, just because of how sketch it is. Uh, what was it? okay, it's aligning itself, I think. So I don't know what the source does. I'm just trying to see what it does. And source doesn't seem like, yeah, source doesn't doesn't seem very, uh, very good. <laughs> uh, we're gonna turn VNAV back on. We're gonna turn actually flight change off, VNAV on, auto throttle on. So I have to get used to a few things here. Uh, it is a it is a learning curve of a plane, but it seems like it's working now. But I think probably your best bet in terms of maybe it's coming it's coming down now. But I think the best bet in terms of getting this plane to climb is probably using the vertical speed until I either figure this out because it is a very iffy plane right now. But that's probably because I'm not flying it correctly. Um, are we in the E195? No, we're in the E175. 
Have you flown the CRJ 200? I think. Yeah, I flew the CRJ a lot. I have a lot of hours in the CRJ. Like it was, like, it was one of the first payware aircraft I bought. So I like when I first bought that plane, I flew that plane like religiously. I flew that plane so much. Um, but yeah, I do have the uh, CRJ, and uh, I do fly uh, quite a bit. Not really on stream, but sometimes off stream, depending. Um, yeah, the CRJ is easy. It's just not used to control or the um, where everything is. So I uh, get a little bit confused with it. But yeah, um, it, okay, VNAV is working now. So VNAV or not VNAV, but the vertical speed does work. It maintains our speed, so that's good. So I thought on VNAV do or uh, VSD work. For some reason, the VNAV is not working, and I have no idea why. So if I disable that, maybe enable, disable, and re-enable VNAV, it's not it's not working for some reason. I don't know if it's something that I may have done, or maybe something I haven't pressed here, but um, it's not following the VNAV at all. So I don't know what it is. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I did something wrong. Uh, so it's probably not you know, the plane's fault, it's not something on my end that I didn't do something right, or I didn't, maybe it's because I'm not using this FMC, but for the most part, this FMC does work, but I want to learn how to use this FMC, so, um, other than that, the plane is good, I really do love it, um, I'm pretty sure the E195 is the same exact way, um, maybe even better, I don't really know the difference between a 175 and a 195, so, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go and uh, check up on my niece real quick. So I will be, uh, we'll be right back. We'll get some music playing and uh, get you guys an outside view. And she's doing, my niece is doing fine, it was uh, my dad's back, so I think he looked at it and not going to pull it yet, it's not that loose. Okay, pretty sure there's no auto throttle on this aircraft, there is auto throttle, there's auto throttle on this plane. And it works. So I think your, I think vertical speed is your friend when it comes to this plane, unless you figure out how to do the VNAV, but, uh, or flight change, if you like flight change, you can do flight change as well. That works just as fine. Oops, I don't want to do that. It doesn't look like VNAV shows up on the uh, on the page here, so I don't. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if VNAV is actually functional when it comes to like this FMC, maybe. But again, the plane flies. I mean, I, I'm having better luck than the. Uh, I'm having a lot more luck than the SSG E170. That thing, the FMC was a mess for me. The autopilot was a mess for me. It was bad. Like, that plane just had so many issues for me. Are you are you above the uh, target altitude send the FMC? Maybe why VNAV is being screwed. It might be, but VNAV, VNAV usually... VNAV should correct that. If I'm even if I'm above the target altitude, VNAV should like correct me and like you know maintain. But I don't know. It could be. You could be right on that. But I have no idea. I won't be able to tell you because I can't really see that far out. Yeah, we might be. But like I said, it's just at this point it doesn't really matter. set up a view out there. I don't think I have any available cameras though. 
Because the out this camera kind of this camera angle is not that good. Does the ERJ not have auto throttles? Oh. I guess not. I'll turn some of the sounds down here real quick. There we go, that's much better. Yeah, I don't know too much about the E uh the uh E um the E one seventies are really too much about them, so I have no idea. Alright, um I'll be right back. I need to go grab my tablet so I can read you guys chat and do some other stuff on my second monitor. So I will be right back. I just need to go on the other side of my room and grab it real quick. And I think my tablet's dead. Oh well, I do have my charger next to me. I'll go and grab it. Oh, it does that bottle play? Okay. Yeah, I would, I would assume so. I was like, why? Hmm, why do they have autopilot modeled in this plane? <laughs> Okay. I think we are leveling off. Yes, we are. Cool. That ground speed. Where's the ground speed at? Right there. 474 knots. Not bad. Are we getting a tailwind? We're getting a little bit of tailwind. I love these winglets, by the way. The winglets that go out at an angle. I love these winglets so much. They look so nice. I think my tablet's charging. Yep, there it goes. What's the song? Uh, song name is uh, Survive by Vans. V A N Z E. Survive. And it's on NCS, non copyright sounds, if you ever heard of that channel. We can do what Paco's Tacos did, I'll tell you, Nightbot will tell you the song. That works too. If you ever want to know what song we're playing, just yeah, just do the do the command song and it should show up the uh, current song that's playing. I think 
If Nightbot wants to cooperate, I'll tell ya. Or if you do, if you do, if you do songs, if you do, if you put songs in chat with exclamation point at the beginning, uh, Nightbot will tell you all the commands for, um, uh, for, uh, what's it called? For the playlist and all that. Yeah, so far this plane for those of you that are wondering it's not a bad plane at all it just takes a little bit of a learning step to get this aircraft down um, a learning curve if, if, if they will but um, it's a fun plane so far it's a great plane it's a great uh, regional jet plane um, it's pretty fast too like how fast are we going? I mean, we have a tailwind with us but you could reach Mach 0.78 without overspeeding the aircraft. If you go 304, you could probably go Mach Mach 8, Mach Mach 8, Mach 0.81 easily in this plane um, without going without overspeeding the aircraft. It is amazing, and uh, I need action need. We're coming up on the burgle, so we're already almost there. In a sense, we're uh, going on. We're on the transition for our arrival, or about to be. We just passed transition for our uh, for our descent or our departure. Now we're about to pass it for our arrival. Let me go ahead and get navigraph charts pulled up real quick. Let me go and get my star pulled up here. And we're going to be landing on runway 25 left. Go and get our taxi set up. Our taxi chart. Okay, so if we go down here to the FMC, we can program some things, uh, like altitudes. So, Crowy, uh, at or below uh, 29,000, which is correct. Uh, Muppet is going to be between 27,000 and 23,000. We're going to try to set that for 23,000. There we go. M dots is going to be at flight level 240, and so at our between 240 to 00, we're going to go for the lowest altitudes, as always. And, um, oh, I got the hiccups again. Okay, it's at or, so Iron Man's at or below 16,000. That's good. Yeah, you hear about the church shooting? Yes, I did. Well, I don't really want to get into, into that too much.
I love the planes where you can actually like drag the knob like as fast as you want. That's so helpful. I hate the knobs where you have to like scroll wheel and they're like super slow at scrolling. But this scroll is actually pretty fast, so it's pretty good. Look, if I have to use scroll wheel, it's pretty nice. But you got the click and drag. I love planes that have that. cockpit actually looks decent yeah i mean the cockpit's not bad looking i mean i could look at this and not have any problems with it at all um pretty well done i have no problem with this cockpit and then of course like the the yoke is a is really nice looking too absolutely love this cockpit not bad at all and the good thing is for those of you that have you know don't have the best computers it's actually you know with the textures not being like you know the best textures in the world i mean they're not bad either like these textures are not bad you know when you zoom in a little bit blurry, but I mean, it's not like you're gonna be flying your whole flight looking at your textures. It's like these are bad textures. These are not good. It's like it's not bad, and they're actually really good on frames too. So I don't know how many frames I'm getting right now. I mean, at the top right, you guys can see, but I can't see them. See, getting around about high 20s to mid 30s, um, bouncing in between, in between that, and um, yeah, it's very smooth. It's a very smooth plane. Extremely smooth. We got some nice views over here. I think the other side was clouds, right? Yeah, this side's just clouds. Yeah, so I'll sit back watching Avid Aviator stream my second monitor. <laughs> of course, I don't have a sound on. This is like played through mine, but I'm just I, like just have watching Avid Aviators on his uh, on the flight factor on the uh, he's on his uh, approach. I think he's on his descent right now. All right, so we're crossing Burwell right now. We're on to. Um, <clears throat> we're on to Burl right now, and then we're going to be on to uh, Crowey, which is again going to be at uh, 290, so we'll start descending for that here in a bit. I think our top of descent is right there. I think a little green arrow, that little green circle is our top of descent. And we'll actually follow that because we actually have, we're only like, you know, 2,000 feet away from 29,000. Getting some frame droppage here, but that's probably just scenery loading and not the plane itself. <clears throat> there we go. Every time I come into LAX, I always get those little lag spikes, and it's just me, because scenery and whatnot. What do you think about the ERJ? I absolutely love this plane, Jeremy. Now, by the way, welcome to the stream. It's been a while since I've seen it, at least in chat. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, but yeah, the ERJ is really good. This one, this is the 175. This one's doing really good right now. I haven't flown the one, uh, 185, or the 195 yet. But this one so far, I'm absolutely loving this plane. Expect to see this plane and the 195 most likely in in future streams for sure, because this plane is fun. It's nice to have another re uh, two more regional jets in my uh, in my hangar. It's super nice to have them. <clears throat> Speaking of hangar, I got to update Nightbot <clears throat> uh, with the hangar. Uh, does X plane crash for you? Um, not very. I mean, not very often. It doesn't just crash randomly. Usually, when my sim crashes, it's either because of an error within like some sort of scenery file, or I did something wrong, or whatever. Um, it doesn't really just crash on its own. It crashes because of something. Um, but sometimes X plane will crash just because it wants to crash or it just doesn't want to run anymore. Um, but for the most part, X plane runs pretty nice for me, and I really don't really get just random crashes out of nowhere. It's always because of something. Doing okay, how about yourself? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. And wish they had a quality wing 787 for X-Plane. Oh, of course, everybody in X-Plane wants a quality wing 787 uh, in, in X-Plane. Like, everybody wants it. Everybody wants it, man. It's like, you're not alone on that. 
But I'm hoping that the 787 that just came out from Magnite, uh, hopefully he gets the uh, gets the boost and uh, gets maybe a, some sort of development team to help him. Because I heard he's helping with the uh, I heard he's helping with the triple seven uh, development, the freeware triple seven. I guess he's uh, helping out with that. If he can, he should probably get the team from the triple seven development team and try to do something with the uh, 787. They should definitely do something with the 787 for sure. Um, or yeah, they should definitely get a team, get a group going between all between each other and do something. Man, that'd be awesome. Can't wait for triple seven. Yeah, the freeware triple seven. I'm definitely gonna be uh, doing a little review. Well, I mean it's freeware, so yeah, it's a really do a review on like payware, like it's payware. But I'm definitely gonna be flying that. That's gonna be some. That's gonna be some fun. Flight Factor Triple Seven needs, yeah. Flight Factor Triple Seven needs an update for sure. It's a great plane. It has a lot of potential, but it needs an update. Absolutely needs an update. The good thing about the Freeware one is it has really good realistic wing flex. Like looking at the pictures of the Freeware Triple Seven, the wing flex is so crazy looking on that. It's it's awesome. Like it's so so good looking. I think we're almost at our top of the sun. Let's go and zoom in here. Uh, we're about 20 nautical miles out from top of the sun. Currently looking at the MD-11. Oh, everybody's looking at the MD-11. Drew, you don't know how bad I want that MD-11 in, like, in my hangar right now. I want that plane to release so bad. So, so bad. And the CRJ-V2. Uh, j Roll and CRJ-V2. I, I want those planes so bad so so bad especially the md11 i'm be doing a lot of cargo flights and a lot of it's gonna be amazing i want that md11 so bad it's it's gonna be amazing absolutely amazing i just i i want it <laughs> take my money take my money rotate American Aviator, yeah, I'm loving this plane. This plane is amazing. The only thing is the VNAV, I think because I'm using this FMC, the default FMC, I gotta figure out how to use this FMC. Um, the default FM, or the, the VNAV doesn't seem to work right now, but everything else works. So I can just turn off the VNAV. But everything else works. Auto throttle works, autopilot works fairly, well, actually works very well. Um, the plane feels nice. Um, it looks actually pretty well, like for texturing, and the frames are really nice too. Like, the texturing is not bad. It's really good. Um, and it's really good on frames. It's absolutely made. I love this plane. This plane is absolutely amazing. And Flight Factor A319, A321, A340. Flight Factor A319, A320. You mean A320? Why don't you get Flight Factor A350? The A, the flight, I do have the Fee 350, but it's terrible. It's like, there's you can't enter any SIDS and STARS. It's pretty bad. Like, it is pretty bad in terms of, like, the SIDS and STARS. It's really bad. Oops, not that way. This way. There we go. So the only thing is that there's no there's no bar that comes across your screen. That's the only way I could know like really know how to like where to where I'm descending to. Unless there is, and maybe I'm just too far out or too far in. I don't know. Yeah, so there's no bar that shows up where you're descending to. So VNAV would be very helpful in this plane if it worked for me, but it's alright. Let me see if VNAV will work. No, VNAV's not working. Maybe because I have vertical speed on. Yeah, VNAV's not working. Alright, that's alright. We'll manually descend ourselves then. Unless there may be something in the FMS here. Nah, I don't think there is. Actually, maybe there is. Nah, nothing. Yeah, it's alright. Well, I've just got a 50 feet per minute landing in through turn. Oh, I missed his landing! Oh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna I'm gonna replay it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it back. 
I need to see this. I gotta watch this. Like I have two flight sims running. <laughs> so weird. Alright, so we made it down to 29,000. Uh, we're gonna start descending for our next waypoint. Which is gonna be at 230. Oh, I was I keep on scrolling up to go down, but that's not correct at all. Alright, well, he's about to land on, on mine right now. He brought it down really smooth. Oh, he floated though. He pulled. He pulled at me. He floated big time. Oh yeah, he did get 50 feet per minute. Wow, it's crazy. I had to shut down one engine. Too much fuselage. <laughs> Not bad. Good. That's a good landing. Okay, I don't think we're gonna make it down to twenty-three thousand feet, but that's alright. What's our throttles at? Yeah, we still have a lot. We can bring it down some more. Alright, let's go and see what you guys put in chat. Oh, the Flight Factory... Yeah, they, the Flight Factory 350 is not good. That the, the plane is incomplete. The FMC is incomplete. So bad. Oh, he said too much fuel usage. I thought he said fuselage. I was like, what? Too much fuselage? Okay. Fuel usage. <laughs> Yeah, you float above 50 feet per minute on A320, it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, I float a lot. I float every single landing. Like, he pull, that's why I said he pulled on me. Like, I float every single landing. Every single landing I do, I float big time. And I do it on purpose so I can pull off a good landing. Like, there's nothing bad about floating at all. I mean, unless you're on a short runway and you're kind of risking it, but there's nothing bad about floating at all. There's nothing bad about it at all. I'd much rather have a float than a thumper, right? find the FMC in this plane is so damn confusing, the E-175, the E-170 is fine, I don't know, I, I don't really know the FMC, like, once you get to learn it, it's probably not bad, but, I have no idea how to work the built-in FMC, but I just use the default FMC, I have no idea how to use that FMC down there, which I need to learn, though, I do need to learn. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention, I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story, and I need all of I think we're sitting back, like, really far. I don't know why, but it just feels like we're sitting back super far. It's a little bit better. We all float down here. <laughs> I was gripper supposed to be a gripper supposed to be at nineteen thousand. We're making it. We'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna be at Iron Man by about fourteen or uh, sixteen thousand. We'll be fine. We'll make it. Owen Heaton, hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. Hope you're doing well.
Doing well, things. Good to hear. Good to hear. Alright, let's go to our descent here. Make sure we get everything. Fast Z-Build signs. We never turn our Fast Z-Build signs on. We like to uh, we like to make our passengers sit in the seat for the whole duration of the flight, so we're not going to worry about that. Altimeters we will set, though, because we are coming up uh, onto uh, 18,000. Let's go ahead and refresh that. And we got to find KLAX here in the list. Um, LAX is not in the list yet, so... I'll just grab it through... I should be here. I wish you can actually search for an airport. Sadly, you can't. That's alright. Alright, let me uh, go ahead and go to VATSPY real quick and use that for the... Uh, use that to get the altimeters. Alright, let me go ahead and grab, uh, go to LAX. And altimeter is 3004. There we go. Okay, so Iron Man is going to be, what, 16,000? So we're going to 14,000, so we're good. Let's go and bring our descent speed back now. Go ahead and get pulls out of that. Uh, let me go and check uh, Navigraph real quick. Uh, Navigraph wants us down to two five zero by Simon. Is that correct? Yes, it is. All right, cool. Maintain 14,000 here. Then we'll cross Iron Man at 14,000, then we'll descend for, uh, we'll descend for Simon at, uh, 13,000. Go get some views before we, uh, end off this flight. You using MV Airlines livery? No, I don't have MV Airlines livery for the E-195 or the E-175 yet, that is. But I could make it if you guys are wanting that. But anyway, Grammy, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it if you're doing well. How are you liking that E-175? I absolutely love it. It's a great plane. It is absolutely... This, this is a fun plane. It's an absolute fun plane. I just need to learn how to use the FMC. Because right now I'm just using the default FMC that's built into the center console. So I'll have to learn how to use that um, on my own time. But so far, it is an absolutely amazing plane. Let's see what views we could get here. I kind of like that view. Going into the clouds. The detail on the wings are really good, too. Alright, I think we're passing Iron Man here. Uh, yep. Alright, let's go and start descending down for 13,000. We're going to start bringing our speed back. I'll sponsor you when your boy gets paid next week. All right, no problem, Drew. Thank you very much, man. Glad you're enjoying enough to uh, to throw to th to toss some money, man. That's always helpful and uh, very supportive. Thank you very much. No rush at all. All right, let's go and bring our descent. Oh, I keep on doing it that way. I'm so used to the other planes having you scroll up to do it, the, the vertical speed down, and it's like scares me every time I 
push up and the plane starts going up. We're good now. Whoa, I think I kind of confused the plane with that weird descent angle. Only good Embraer 175 and 195 for FSXP3D is a uh, virt virtual call. Virtual virtual call? I don't know. They make good aircraft, but the cockpit textures are the worst. I have never seen the. I never seen it, so I have no idea. Okay, so we gotta bring it down to nine thousand. And we got it down to 250. So this plane handles so well, guys. I'm absolutely loving this plane. The autopilot just handles so well. I mean, apart from the little, like, S-turns that kind of does the line, that's, that's no problem for me. I have no problem with that at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was just my mistake um, that caused that. But, um, yeah, if you learn the FMC in this plane, I'm pretty sure it'll be even better because VNAV will properly work. Uh, and that, that's really it. VNAV just doesn't work for me well, because I'm not using this FMC, I'm assuming. I'm using the default FMC, but other than that, everything else works uh, perfectly fine. I have no problems at all with it. And uh, really, the only way I can really say is like the thing that got me this plane is like you guys with the with the insane amount of donations you guys have been sending last week, the sponsors, the super chats. Um, ask you guys what you guys want to see, the Challenger 300, the Embraer, um, you guys want to see that, I saw a lot of people say the Embraer, and that's what you guys want to see, so that's what we got, and I'm hopefully you guys are enjoying this, me learning, uh, would you guys like to see more streams of me learning aircraft like this, or would you just like to see me just like, you know, already know the aircraft, get up and go, basically, because I know some people like to see, or like to know how I learn aircraft, and how I start off with an aircraft, uh, do you guys like to see me like learn the aircraft like this or do you guys not like to see it? it's up to you guys is like because it is true that we know we do take a longer time the stream kind of drains out you know when we're on the ground but i think it also is a learning curve for you guys and also a better review on my end um so now when you guys get the aircraft you guys know from my streams and what how to start it how to get everything going and whatnot so it's up to you guys i don't know what you guys want to see I really love your videos and love flying with you, which is uh, something I might go and do when I head to head into Phoenix. Yeah, um, we're gonna be doing all of us, uh, of course, like VATS and flights always. But uh, yeah, always fun to uh, do some flights with uh, some of uh, some of you guys' as viewers. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It makes it to where it's just not as empty, and then you, we know we get to see each other and whatnot. It's pretty nice to have. Let's go and bring it down to seven thousand. Oops, wrong way again. <laughs> That's just like force of habit for now, like right, right now. All right, well we gotta be down to 9,000 by juice. I don't want him descending. Let's actually turn the vertical speed off. Bring it back up to 8,000. Actually, no, we gotta bring it back on and do it this way. Okay, there we go. Blurry Man teaches me new things. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty cool. I mean, you guys teach me new things as well, such as if, like, when I got this aircraft, you guys kind of helped me out at the beginning. Uh, some people, it seems like most of you guys don't have this aircraft or don't know too much about it, but I had a few of you guys try to help and uh, try to help me get the plane started and whatnot. So it's super helpful on my end, too, and makes me learn uh, the aircraft as well. I uh, like to see me learn. Didn't catch your 787 review. Well, what did you think? It's good for what it is right now, but if you're looking for a full-on simulation, don't get it. Um, it's still really early, like, progress, and a lot of buttons are not functional. Um, it's flyable, it's it's workable, it's flyable, autopilot works, uh, the ILS works, and maybe we'll fly it again. If you guys want to see the 787 in the stream, we could definitely do something, um, if you guys would like to see that. Like, the tutorials keep them coming. It's really, I mean, I guess tutorials, because I go through everything fluently, and you guys get to follow along if you guys get the aircraft, but, um, yeah, um... Let's see where we're supposed to descend now. Uh, 6,000. Right, let's go and head down to 6,000. Yeah, if you guys like this, I could definitely keep on doing these videos for you guys, for sure. Oh, we kept on descending by accident. Whoops. My mistake. Oh, well. That's alright. Yeah, if you guys like these, I'll definitely keep on bringing these out for you guys. For sure, for sure. Let's go and bring our speed back. Two one zero. Go and get our auto brake set to low. 
We're gonna go and pull some speed brake back. Let's see how these speed brakes are. I mean, it's a small plane, so we should be able to slow down pretty quick. A nice wing view here of the... Oh, you can't see the... Okay, it's clouds. Never thought of getting DCS. I do have DCS, but I don't have it installed anymore. I just got kind of got bored of it. Alright, let's go and go on a heading mode here. I don't want to go direct to the next waypoint here. Oh, lag spike, there we go. Alright, we'll go and bring flaps down. Just one notch. A little bit high in the descent, but that's alright. As a okay. Okay, we'll intercept that a different. We'll intercept that. Uh, we'll intercept that. Um. We'll intercept that gate. No, we'll intercept that uh, Honda. We'll inter uh, intercept that Honda. So where's that? Okay, it's coming up. So Honda is going to be at uh, three thousand six hundred. So it's going to start descending for three thousand six hundred. We'll go for 3,200 for now. Let's go and pull our speed brake in. Auto brakes are set. Let's go and go through our checklist here. Make sure we get everything. Uh, flight 10. Flight 10 is notified. ICAST checked. Landing gear. Okay, that's landing. I don't need to worry about that. Descent checklist complete. Um, speed brakes are armed. Auto brakes. Flaps. And all that stuff. We're good. Alright, cool. Actually, I kind of want to see how the radios are in this plane, so let's go and see how the radios kind of... Okay, scroll wheel compatible, I like that. Uh, we're on nav 1. We're on com 1. Okay, 122. Okay, so nav 1, we're going to set this to our... Uh, of course, to our... Um, to our... Uh, what's it called? Our... Uh, the landing into Los Angeles for the ILS. I want to see how the ILS works in this plane, so... Uh, we're gonna be setting the ILS or the uh, heading to two five one. Doesn't look like you can actually turn this one like you can on the other ones, but it does turn fairly decent. I mean, it's only the course, so it just doesn't really matter, anyways. All right, so course is roughly gonna be suited. so they don't show the course at all. Um, and that's again, that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. Okay, we're kind of going a little bit fast here. Bring it back to 210. So my plans were to intercept that Honda, but it doesn't seem like that's happening anytime soon. So we're just gonna extend our approach and try to get the uh, try to get the um, approach here tuned in. So of course, I wonder if we could just do it in the radios here, nav radios. Yes, we can. That works too. So 251, uh, and then our uh, nav one is gonna be 1109 or point niner. There we go, and that's our ILS. And then basically we can actually intercept the Honda now, so let's go and start making a left-hand turn. Cap4653, what's up, welcome to stream. WWE Fan Nation, what's up, welcome to stream. What's your favorite plane to fly? Oh, that's actually a tough one. The IXCG 737 for sure. Uh, second one have to be the 75, Flight Factor 757 for sure. That's my. That's like my top two aircraft on my list right now. Um, the IXCG 737, my favorite, just because it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's just simple, it's, it's, it's simple to me, it's easy, it's something that I've always kind of worked with in flight some experience, and was familiar with it. Alright, so I had to get used to the flap speeds, I can't remember what the flap spe uh, max speeds were, but I think it was like a little thing, oh, I'm gonna change that back to low. I think there's like, usually like a little flap speed thing that kind of tells you, no, not on this plane, doesn't seem like, ah, that's right. Alright, so the ILS looks like it is working. Flaps down another notch, so, flaps 2 is uh, about 240 on the max speed. We're going to go ahead and cut the music here as well, so you guys could hear.
and so I can hear. And we'll go ahead and start turning on the approach mode. And then the plane will start aligning us on the on the localizer here, or at least it should. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> I don't think I said it correctly, or it's either just doing... I don't know what it's doing. Uh, what's the plane doing, guys? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it play out and see what happens. I don't know what it's doing. Enter nav 1. I don't know what it's doing. Oh. What what is what is it doing? Um guys <laughs> What just happened? Uh it put us completely the wrong way. And we'll check out that subscriber here in a bit. Source next to bear oh, is it supposed to Oh I see it. I see it. Okay, I got it, I got it. Alright, let me let me <laughs> let me get the plane back on course here. Hold on, let me, let me get the plane back on course. <laughs> I see it. I completely forgot about the source button. Completely forgot about it. Thank you for that. Let's go and get back. Yeah, let's go and, let's go and turn back around here. Who, who, who's, who said that? Who's, uh, who, uh, recommend that? Bravo 11 Alpha, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. I completely forgot about that source button. I completely forgot about it. Because I see the glide slope there. And it should be localizer on there too, but we'll see. We crash, we crash, we, we crash, very sure. <laughs> thing wants to follow waypoints. I think it did. Yeah, I think it did want to follow the waypoints because it was on nav. It went on nav mode as well. I saw nav mode got enabled. So let's go and try changing the source and then go to uh, approach mode. See if it works now. Oh, it's doing something. There it goes. Is it doing it? I see the I see the uh, flight director changing, which is good news. Unless just uh, are we unaligned? Yeah, we are unaligned. So I think it's trying to align us right now. Yep, there it goes. I think it's aligning. Yep, there it goes. Yep, cool. Thank you for that. Thank you, Bravo. Much appreciated. You helped us. You saved lives. You're saving lives. You're saving lives. <laughs> Alright, wait for it to finish aligning here. Gotta grab a spork. What? <laughs> I think it's actually the two diamond buttons next to the barrel knob. Uh, nope, need v nav one. Okay, looks like it's aligning though. Yeah, it's aligning. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. Okay, it was already aligning. It's just that these don't show up if you don't press them. So it's good. Thank you for that. I have to keep note of that. I didn't know what those two buttons were for anyways. Thank you. When you get the MD-11, I can uh, see you uh, getting the Cal Fire livery. Cal, Cal Fire livery? Uh, maybe. Oh, what does it look like? I don't know what it looks like. Are we in a crosswind? No, we're not. Oh, the approach mode turned off for some reason. There we go. I think it's because I flipped it. I flipped the, uh, the switches there. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, there we go. Let's maintain 200. Or, let's actually bring the speed back because I don't know if the... I don't know what's what's going to be like on the descent. So, it's going to bring it back to, like, 170. And again, I don't know the speeds of this plane yet, so this is all trial and error, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go and check the subscriber, too. And we got uh, two. Joseph Orozco's, thank you for the subscription early. That was like one hour ago, sorry about that. Uh, f fart loops. Jeez, thank you for the subscription, very much appreciated. These names, though. Alright, let's go and bring our flaps down another notch, and we'll get our gear down pretty soon. 
All right, what are we at? Flaps three, I think, should be. Uh, yeah, flaps three. All right, can't see anything. Uh, we are coming up to Lima. Let's go and bring our range in here a little bit. Thoughts on FlyJ's MQ400? I I actually like it. Um, it's it's not it's not it's not an updated aircraft. You know, there's some things out of date. There's some things that I could use and a little love and a little bit of updates. But I don't know if it's going to be receiving any updates anytime soon. Uh, but it is a fun aircraft. Um, it's worth the twenty-five dollars. I think it's on sale right now, actually, on the org store, unless it's not done anymore. Um, but yeah. Oh, thank you for that. There's the flap over speed, uh, extended speed. Thank you for that. Okay, so flaps. Well, we have we're at one. Okay, we could go down some more. We'll go and toss our gear down. Thank you for that. I didn't even see that. I always, I'm always used to them being on like a Boeing, like they're over here next to like next to here or down here somewhere I don't know usually around there thank you for that see we all learn together we all learn together <laughs> learning is the key all right we're gonna start bringing our speed back to final I think what 140 is a good final speed Let's start bringing our flaps. And what are we at? Almost full. We're at five. Let's go and go full flap. Full flaps. American Avery, welcome back. All right, there we go. I think 140 is a good speed. Let's go and check. Oh yeah, we're way bowed down. We have to go 130 on the landing. No, I think 140 would be fine. Usually, I don't like doing this, like going in the outside view to see how bowed we are. Like that's pretty bad. I don't like doing that. But I think 130 is going to be our landing speed. It seems like. Because we're really bowed down. I want you to try to get the plane to be nice and straight and level. 135? Is it 135? Alright, cool. Thank you. I was close enough. Close enough. Alright, we'll take over. See what the throttles are at. A little, a little over idle. Alright. Our aircraft. Ooh, this plane feels. This plane is very responsive, very very responsive. Loving it. I just gonna see what we're at. Okay, that's what we want the plane to be at. That is what we want the plane to be at. Okay, so these things are kind of hard to see, just like the CRJ. At least the altitude there, but I don't like having that up pulled up. All right, we gotta trim the aircraft with the nose down a little bit here. The nose is coming up a little bit too easy. Just my pedals here, a little bit crooked. But so far, this plane handles like a like a dream, guys. Like it handles very, very well. Let me see if you guys could see. No, you guys can't see. Let me okay, show you guys. Two, oh, two, nope, that's five, not what I want. There we go. See, so you guys can see the manipulation I'm putting into the uh, into the yoke. This plane likes to. This plane will glide. Like I'm almost at idle throttle, and this plane is just having a nice time gliding. Like, it's absolutely loving the glide right now. It's a great. You guys think I'm gonna, oh, you guys wanna do, okay. I completely forgot about that, but you guys think I'm, <laughs> Ryanair, of course, it's always gonna be there. This plane kind of fly. It kind of reminds me of the CRJ, but the CRJ is a little bit more finicky. Like I'm adding very little controls into, or like very little adjustments, and the plane's just flying on the glide like no problem. There we go. Wow, this landing, the touchdown sounds are actually pretty nice for this plane. 75 feet per minute landing, that's amazing. 1.2 Gs. Man, this plane is so good, guys. I'm absolutely low. I 70 knots, so I've got manual braking. Absolutely loving this plane, though. 
All right, let's see who got the we'll see who got the closest uh, once we uh, once we get to the uh, once we get to the ramp. Uh, same five feet per minute, one point two G's on landing. Excellent landing, not bad at all. And uh, we'll go and bring it into the ramp here. Um, the brakes are very. <laughs> you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna get just as annoyed as I am with that noise. That's a bad. That's a bad noise. <laughs> All right, let's go up here and get our landing lights off. But there we have it. Oh, we didn't even have our landing lights on. Whoops. Thought I did. I thought I turned on all my lights, but apparently I didn't. Apparently not. Maybe I was just imagining. It. All right, so we're gonna take a quick intermission after this, guys. I'm just gonna uh, go watch my niece again. So um, I'm gonna have to go and uh, watch my niece downstairs. So we're gonna take a quick intermission. I'll probably be back in. I don't know. Hopefully, like two, like a minute at most. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. All right, let me go ahead and uh, make a right here, and then we'll text it to the ramp. I think United Park's on this side, right? Check on your DC. Yeah, we got. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right after this. Approaching. Because my my dad is leaving. I don't know where to. Just going somewhere. Hopefully, he's not gonna be gone for too long. But um, yeah, I'll, and we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back. Um, we'll be back in like a minute or so. Hopefully. But yeah, United does park over here. All right, cool. All right, let's go and clean up the aircraft as well. Bring all that, all that in. Is this uh, funner flight scenery? What? I don't know. What you funner, funner flight scenery? No, this is made by Mrs. Mr. X. Mr. X. Worst thing I've ever seen, like a Ryanair landing. <laughs> That landing was actually free. This this plane handles like a dream, guys. If you guys want a plane that's just like you could just easily land every single time, this is the plane. This plane is super easy to control. Like super easy to control. I think we floated big time, but I don't even really care at this point. Like I was, uh, I float most of my landing, so I I don't really care if I float because <laughs> I float most of my landings. All right, guys, we'll bring it in here. We'll go to intermission, and uh, if you guys are going to be heading out, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for the new subscribers, and I'll see you guys in a bit in the next one. And then for those that are going to be sticking around, we're going to take like a one-minute to two-minute intermission or so, and uh, we'll be back and fly the E-195. So um, other than that, we're going to get to we're gonna watch the replay back. We're going to, uh, we're going to um, end the replay, and then we'll bring it to the intermission screen. We'll just take, uh, we'll take this ramp back in here. I think we're really supposed to park over there. I think those are the... Uh, the regional, uh, whatever, but it's whatever. I really don't care. We're just gonna park in here, cause why not? Yeah, the wing flux on this plane is actually really good too, and I love the wings on the E-175. I don't know why, just those slanted wings look so good. Landing better than I do, and I fly this plane a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head on right in here. Oh my gosh, those brakes, guys. <laughs> those brakes are so bad. Oh, this guy's kind of hidden behind a little tug truck here. Can't really see. Oh, that's going to get annoying real quick. That's <laughs> so bad. I, I could probably just find those sounds in the files and then remove them or replace them with something else. Right there, we'll do. I'm gonna pull the park brake and welcome to Los Angeles. Actually, pretty good. Pretty good parking job. All right, let's go and watch the replay back. Let's go play, and we'll head on back to our landing. But too far, yeah, way too far. And we'll just fast forward it, bring it forward a little bit. There we go. Maybe we didn't really float as much as we thought we did. No, not really. I mean, I thought I floated, but we're just coming down really, just really gentle. Oh, <laughs> that was so smooth. That was so smooth. I 
might as well rename the plane. This plane's the Dreamliner. <laughs> like that was pretty smooth, I must say. That we just like we came down really soft. Amazing. I right, just gonna watch from a wing view. I'm gonna start from right here. Terminal 7 for United Express. Was that the. I don't think that was the right terminal, was it? <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. I don't know what terminal that was. I'm not very familiar with the uh, with the south side terminals of LAX. Landed better than I. Okay, I already read that. Oh, is, that, is my tablet. Okay, now we're good. Oh, something crashed. Let's see. Oh, that was so smooth. So, so smooth. We're watching from the other side. I think we'll get better frames over here. The other side's kind of choppy because of the building. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the wing flex is not bad in this plane, though. Wing flex is pretty good. I have never flown an E-175, but the frames are really good. Let's watch from the front. Wow. Alright, guys. I think that's going to do it for the first leg. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, wrap it on up. And uh, we'll go into intermission. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. So let's go and toggle replay mode. Let's go and pause the sim so that way it doesn't jet forward on us. And hopefully it doesn't crash as we're gone. So other than that, guys, if you're going to be leaving, hope you have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys in the next one. For those of you sticking around, we're going to be doing, again, another like a one-minute intermission. Um, other than that, I've got some music playing for you guys. And we'll be right back.
Alright guys, I am back and I have some bad news. <laughs> My X-Wing crashed. Um, it said it was out of memory. <clears throat> We're going to fix that real quick. Uh, I don't know why it ran out of memory. I don't I don't understand. I think it was just because of loading the plane. So I just switched from the E-175 to the E-195 to get my flight set up. And it just crashed and said X-Plane is out of memory. Sorry, but you cannot play X-Plane anymore. Alright, so we're going to get that fixed. But I think I just have to reload. I think uh, there's some sort of uh, memory leak or something. So we're going to fix that. Alright, so we'll be starting up here in a bit. I'm just getting my explain started back up. But hopefully, if you guys are just sitting here staring at the intermission screen, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, waiting the entire for the time. I know it's a little bit more than a minute or two minutes or whatever, but... Um, uh, Dad just got back home and just trying to run to uh, the store or something like that. It was pretty fast, actually. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go ahead and get ready to get started back up, and once our sim loads back up, we'll get going. Well, hopefully everybody's still doing well. Hopefully you guys are not uh, bored out of your minds sitting here looking at the intermission screen. And well, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it off once we get into the sim. By the way, um, while the sim loads, I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuel. So, and go to new flight or edit flight. And this this call sign, I think American, I think the Amer American E-190s go or E-170s go by Compass, I think is their call sign, or do they go by just like SkyWest? I don't entirely know, so I'm just, I'm, I mean, I have it written down as Compass because that's what I thought it was, but yeah, I could be wrong. Alright, so there is our flight sim coming up. I'm going to get you guys a screen here. It'll pop up here in a bit, so... So it comes alive here. We're going to get a uh, new flight going. E-195, we have the American Airlines. We have our ramp selected. It's going to start the flight. All right, so we are going to be going from Los Angeles to Phoenix this time around. In the E-195, time and route is good. Passengers are good. Altitude, we're going to be cruising at 290 for altitude. Uh, zero freeway is good. Our, what's it called? Um, our route looks good. Passengers are good. Altitude's good. All right, let's go and generate the fuel plan or the OFP, and we'll get the fuel, and uh, we'll write it all down, and then we'll get it loaded up. Okay, so we're going to be... Uh, having a block fuel of 9,806. And our cost index is going to be 13. Our zero fuel is going to be 92.77. And our uh, extra, possible extra is going to be 3.1. Alright, so wait for explain it to load and then uh, we'll get it in sim. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the um, and get the charts uh, set up here. I 
Let's see, we are going to be on the Dots 2 departure. Alright, let's go to Phoenix and then we'll also get the charts for that uh, loaded up. As all passengers will be waiting for a few hours, make sure you join your high, uh, join our High Sky Miles to uh, or subscribe to MVHD. You can probably flights and Photoshop work and enjoy your flight. <laughs> Alright, so our arrival is going to be the Hydra One arrival, and our approach. Uh, I think they're landing west in Phoenix. Let's see. Typically, they do land in land to the west, but let's... winds are at zero. So winds are calm there. So I think main operate normal operations they land to the west, but I could be wrong. We'll, we'll watch Vat Spy to make sure. Let's see if we could tell off of that. All right, there we go. Uh, I was about to finish uploading here now, so we'll get ready to get out of here and go. Okay, there we go. We are good to go. Don't wait for what sim to do its thing. Still loading. Ah, right, well, I'm gonna eat a little bit while it does the loading. Okay, I think we're good to go. Yes, we are. All right. So here is the E195. We're gonna be taken up in the air, and I think it's just longer than the. I think it's the one seven or one nine five is longer than the one. Oh, yeah, I gotta set the cameras on this this plane as well. Let me just set the cameras real quick, guys. And we'll get ready to go. Just need to make sure that our cameras are set. Yeah, there's like no... Like, all the cameras here are sort of just like wonky and messed up the E175 had some pretty decent camera angles but this one default camera angles are not that good not that good alright so we got that camera let's go ahead and get the overheads down look up That's pretty centered. There. Okay, so we have all of our cockpit cameras set up. So now we just gotta set up the passenger views for you guys. Get some nice views on the flight up to Phoenix. I love flying up to Phoenix because of the views. Oh, that's amazing. So yeah, the E the E195 is uh, is longer than the um than the or 195 is longer than 75. Right, so we're gonna set up a camera there. Set up a camera over here. And we'll set up two cameras in the back behind the wing. Yeah, the cabin details for this plane are really nice though. They're really, really good. Good camera angles. 
or not camera, it was really good cabin quality. Set up one there, and we'll set up one over here. Oh, there's like little TVs on the back of these, that's pretty cool. Set up there. Alright, so, also our view set up here. Let's go and set up our last view right up here on the dash. There we go. Alright, we have all of our views set up and uh, we're ready to get out of here. So, go ahead and change the sound source. There you go. You guys will be able to hear the in-game sounds now. Okay, um, so I'm assuming it's roughly about the same exact thing. Um, we're going to go toggle ground equipment. It's that. Um, we're not going to actually be pushed back yet. I did not want to open that. Close that. Get our checklist open. There we go. So I think the checklist is roughly about the same. Um, it's, it looks like it's pretty much the same. Go up here, and we're going to get our ground power on in use. Uh, GPU is out. Batteries are off. Fuel DC pumps. All that stuff will be coming on. I think, yeah, this is the same exact thing. The texturing is actually a little bit different, I think. Was the texturing like this in the in the 175? I can't remember. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, anyways, uh, windshield wipers are off. Hydraulic pumps uh, 1 and 2 uh, will be set to auto. Uh, landing gear down. Power plants uh, start and stop is already set stop. Uh, thrust lever idle. Batteries 1 and 2 coming on. Uh, APU gen will be coming on. Let's go and shut that off. There we go. Uh, electrical power and air conditioning. Electrical power. I think that, where is that at? I guess that's it. I'd say so. Okay, um, so. Electric power and air conditioning is good. Uh, procedures and route waypoints, we'll go and get that set into our FMC. So we're not going to use this FMC until I learn how to better use this FMC. So we're going to go down here and use this instead. Uh, so we're going to go uh, to... No, oh, man. Flight plan. And we're going to go KLEX. Oops, clear that. And we're going to be going to PHX, or Phoenix. And our call sign, we're going to do Compass 318, because I don't know if they fly Compass uh, compass call sign on the American, or American Eagle, or whatever, but whatever. Alright, uh, we got that set up, so go to Departures and Arrivals, we'll go to Departures, we're going to check, uh, we're going to do the Dots 2 Departure. Oh, we got to uh, get a runway here. We're going to be taking off on runway 25, uh, 25 right, and we're going to be on the Dots 2 Departure. And the Scenery Transition, we'll go and... Execute that, we'll go to departures and arrivals. And we'll go to the next page. We're gonna go until we find Hydra 1. And we're gonna be on the BLH transition, and we're gonna go on uh looks like they're actually landing looks like they're actually landing eastbound maybe, so they might be laying to the east. Um let's go let's go to the east. We'll land east since they're landing east. Uh, let's go to full our uh, navigraph and let's choose the uh, approach for niner, the eights and the nines. Um, we're actually going on niner right, so let's go and find niner right, or not niner right, uh, seven right. Uh, enable that. Disable that one. All right, so. I'm going to set ILS uh, 07 right, and we're going to be on the um, Alice transition, I guess. I guess, yeah. Alright, let's go and uh, execute that. Let's go to flight plan, or uh, legs, and then we'll see if there's any uh, discos or any vectors that we don't need. So these two we need to get rid of, uh, so let's go take BLH and we'll replace it all the way up to that coordinate, whatever that coordinate is. We'll execute that. Uh, we'll go to next page. We'll clear that up, we'll execute it, and we're basically good to go on that. Uh, let's go to our cruise. Our cruise altitude is going to be 290. Pop that in there. We're just going to ignore these. Uh, we're good on that. Good on that. All right, so that's basically it. Let's go back to the legs page, and we'll uh, get our plane start up and ready to go. So waypoint and altitudes are entered, cruise airspeed, 
Uh, as entered, cruise OA, uh, OAT is optional. We're not going to worry about that. Um, cruise winds, not going to worry about that. Initial course altitude. Uh, final cruise altitude, not going to worry about that. Let's go to startup. Uh, fuel quantity, let's go ahead and uh, get our fuel in. We're going to be carrying 9,806 pounds of fuel. Enter that. There we go. Hit done. Apply. And we are good there. Altimeters uh, 3003 should be the altimeter setting. Let's go and change that. Right there. Uh, departure review. We're good. Uh, doors and windows closed. Red beacon. We'll go and get that on. Let's go and get our navs on. Let's get our red beacon on. Our logo lights will stay off. It's daytime. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, park brake is set. Uh, before start checklist complete, AC power is going to get that uh, onto auto. Uh, true 1 and 2 will get that onto auto. True essentials will get that onto auto. Uh, APU will go ahead and, or nav lights are already good. We're going to get the APU started. Hold that down for a few seconds. And release. And while that starts up, I'm going to eat my noodles because I'm hungry. <laughs> we will go and watch it climb. This APU starts up pretty fast, so. Let's go and get our uh, APU bleed on. Go and clear that. There we go. Alright, APU bleed is on. Or a bleed error is APU. Uh, display is on and verified. Engine 1, 2, ignition will be set to auto. Uh, ignition 1, 2, and we'll get ready to start. So let's go and get our ready for our pushback. I'm going to try better pushback. Let's go and release the park brake, by the way. And we'll pull it again. Alright, so I'm going to try better pushback, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to be pushing out onto the active, so we'll be pushing out tail to the right, and then tail to the left of plane orientation. So let's see if better pushback works. Um, let's go pre-plan. We'll go ahead and push back here. We'll be doing a long pushback, so... We'll push back onto the active here. All right. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu. Those didn't start hella fast. Yeah, dude, the APU starts up so fast. It's so good. So, so good that the APU starts up fast. All right, let's go and see if... <laughs> best of luck. I think we're going to get the little RC one. The little battery-powered tug truck. We'll see what happens. Maybe not. But we'll see. Start pushback. Ground to Toe is driving nope, up. we don't get the little RC one. We get an actual normal one. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and get the... Uh, I don't think it doesn't tell you to get turn the packs off. Unless they automatically turn off for you. We're not going to worry about it. Oscar Shelley, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. Hopefully you're doing well. Better pushback works for me for the, uh, for the 195. Alright, cool. Thank you. That clears up a lot because I didn't want to break the plane. So while he does it, while he connects, I'm going to eat some noodles. Because <laughs> it's going to take a while for him to connect. Got to have our before flight, uh, before flight, before taxi meal. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Is better pushback payware? No, it's freeware. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say it. Yeah, it's freeware.
so connected and bypass been inserted. Release parking brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Oh, the ground power. Oops. Okay, we're not going to start engines just yet because we got a long pushback, so not going to worry about it. Well, it's a good thing that the that the um, it's a good thing that the uh, GPU automatically disables for you when you start pushback. You haven't had departed yet. Oh, uh, we de well, this is the second leg. This is the, this is our second flight. <laughs> so we we uh, we're just now starting our second flight. But welcome to the stream, by the way, Piper. Glad you can make it. Hope you're doing well. See, so yeah, a long pushback. Not gonna worry about getting the plane started right now. We're just gonna sit back and enjoy the tug view. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the pushback because we got a long one. Stream overlay still says that's a photo LA. What? It shouldn't. I s oh, I didn't hit. I didn't save it. Hold on. <laughs> let me uh, let me change that. I gotta redo it all again, but that's alright. It's not that bad. I don't know. Why I didn't do it, but that's alright. All right, so dots two. Scenery. Lh. Hydr one. We're gonna be going as compass. 318, cruise altitude 290, and we're going to meet E195. There we go, should be updated now. Alright. So, uh, let's go and get the engine started now. Alright, so engine start up. That was good, we just got to go and get these guys started. Oops. Hold that down for about five seconds. Two, three, four, and five. Release. Go ahead and cover that up. See, we're almost there. Are the engines coming alive? Before we make the same mistake we did last time, let's go ahead and uh, set our altitude to our cruise and all of our other things because we don't want to do that. Um, I don't know if uh, 
uh, LNAV is going to work again, but... Or not LNAV, I mean VNAV is going to work, but we'll probably just... We'll, we'll, we'll deter that. engine started. Oh, the screens actually turn on? Oh, they do actually turn on. Oh, which you can actually interact with, that would be pretty cool. Alright, let's go and start engine number one. Hold that down for five seconds. Two, three, four, and five, and release. Sounds are not very loud. I don't know why. Let's go and check the sounds. Make sure that they're up. Exterior. Yeah, there we go. I think that's what it was. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Banana. Welcome on board today's flight from LA, Los Angeles to Phoenix. If you have a medical problem, please let us know. Thank you. Still says arrival case of photo Phoenix. What? No, it doesn't. Oh, it says Kayla. Oh, I didn't save the second half. Come on. Yeah, dang. Alright. There we go. Phoenix. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, it's going to set flaps to three. There are many eggs on the crowd, too much to count for you, so your life is hands. Good luck. Lastly, the potty is for bladders, only for only no crack holes are allowed. For parking brake. I'm going to set park brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. My APU can now come off. Bleed air is on both. Air condition packs are back on. Light controls. Pull left check and right check. Back forward check. Left and or right and left check. Disconnect. Disconnected and bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Go and get rid of some of these. Let's go ahead and get our taxi lights on. And we're good to go. Let's get out of here. Release park brake. And let's go. Why does it sound so quiet in this plane? Turn those up, they're so quiet. Maybe there's the only wings you could get on this plane, right? Yeah. Let's go get some music playing. That was immediate. Oh man, Avid's in the in the <laughs> in the, in a storm right now. bit of southwest taxiing right now nothing nothing bad yeah 
Yeah, I'm absolutely loving this plane. It's just so easy. Sounds are quite uh, are quiet for me too when I fly the one. Okay, so it's not just me. All right, it makes sense. Jack going through a car wash. It looks like he's going through a car wash. <laughs> you see yourself as a commercial pilot? No. I don't see myself as a commercial pilot. In no way, shape, or form do I. Before take off, uh, good, 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 good. Uh, auto brakes and set the Tartio. Speed brakes are armed. Before takeoff check was complete, and it's just take off. So, oh, that sound is so annoying. Who does the song? Is DJ Quads. Uh, if you type in uh, exclamation point or the command uh, song, like exclamation point and then song, uh, then do like current, so songs, uh, exclamation point, songs, space, current, it'll tell you what song that's playing right now. So like here, I'll give an example. Cat 4 6 the what's up? Oh, we forgot to get our seatbelt signs on. Oh well. Alright, you ready for takeoff? Alright, who's ready to get out of here? Let's get out of here. I can't turn auto throttle. Okay, I guess I can't turn auto throttle on when I'm on the ground. But there's a toga button here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's oh, that's how you do it. I see. Ho ho ho! I found out. Wow, this thing just get up and goes, man. It's so good. Oh my gosh, dude! This plane. We're done. <laughs> we didn't even hit the overspeed. We didn't hit the flap over speed, are you kidding me? I'm done. <laughs> We're resetting that. Okay, so note to self, the E195 has a ton of more power than the 175. A ton more power, like a, a, a metric ton of power. Oh uh, yeah, we're resetting that, guys. <laughs> Is this the freeware one? No, it's not the freeware one. This is both payware. Alright, we're resetting that, guys. We're gonna reset that. Hold on, hold on. We're, we're gonna redo that. Let's, uh, let's go back. I'm not, I'm not, we're not doing that. Okay, we have to, okay, so this plane, you have to watch, so the 195, you have to watch your speed. This plane just got up and went out of the start. I was like, okay, it's not bad. Started my climb, and it just breaks everything. All right, so we're starting up at the ramp here. Let's just go ahead and, uh, I don't want to start the ramp, actually. Our engine started? Oh, we're paused, that's why. Okay, um, let me load up at the runway. Because we're not gonna end, we're not gonna, we're gonna do all that again. All that, that taxi and whatnot. So we're gonna load up at the runway. Is there, like, a hold short? No. Okay, it's all right, we're, re we're gonna redo that, guys. <laughs> We're doing that again. Um, okay. 
So, is the flight plan still the same? Yeah, we're good. Okay, now let's go and check fuel and everything real quick here. Where's the fuel at? Fuel. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so note to self, this plane has a lot of power, and I mean it has a lot of power. So I'm not going to I'm not going to use I'm not going to use uh, what's it called at all. I'm not going to I'm not going to use um not going to use the 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 toga at all because that thing just lunges the throttles forward. All right, let's get out of here. I think we're good now. We're just going to get out of here and go. All right, we're going to take control of uh, the throttles ourselves <laughs> so that doesn't happen again. Mercy evacuation quick. <laughs> Alright. So remember, this is my first time flying this plane, so I gotta get used to it. <laughs> Alright, there's AC. The speeds are much better now. Oh, wait, we've got set flaps. Set the flaps quick. There we go. Alright, we'll go and rotate now. Alright, there we go. The flaps are coming down as we take off. Alright. So we'll climb at like 180. It's pretty good speed. Yeah, it is actually pretty good speed right here. Alright, gear's coming up. Try to pitch the plane for. I'm gonna try to activate flight change. We're gonna see what happens if flight change go off. Goes off. I just wanna see what happens. Flight change. Ooh, it's actually not doing bad. So whatever you guys do, do not use flight change, uh, flight change or flight level change with with auto throttle because the plane is gonna dart up into a straight nose climb. But we're good now. Let's try bringing up to 200. Yeah. So the plane works with flight. We're gonna do flight change departure because <laughs> there's some things that happen with this plane. Okay, so uh, note to you guys, for those of you that are wondering or are about to get this plane, do not use uh, uh, Toga is very very risky on the takeoff. Um, Toga just kind of lunges the throttles forwards and locks them in place. I'd recommend you guys use flight change instead. Uh, it's much much. It's just much better. <laughs> Anyways, let's go and see what you guys put in chat. <laughs> uh, let's see what you guys put. That was amazing. Dead. <laughs> rip, rip. Holy fuck, holy crap. Well, that was fun. Can we do it again? <laughs> oh, man. Imagine being that happening in real life where uh, there would be so many memes. Oh, God. You're gonna get a contact me. <laughs> uh, oh, look at the flight. Okay, no flight change isn't doing bad. Not doing bad. It's climbing us pretty fast, but it's not. It's not insane. It's not crazy stupid. Go and bring our throttles back to get a better climb rate. So yeah, um, a little recommendation here, guys. I would try if I were you. I'd try to maybe avoid to Toga until you maybe get this FMC working. Because Toga mode with this FMC does not work properly at all. It just lunges the throttles forward and locks them there. Um, is what I got out of it. And even to the full power, like I wasn't at full power and I was able to take off like maybe one fourth of the runway. You don't need full power for this aircraft. It has a lot of power in itself. Um, and use flight change on your climb out. It's just much. It's just easier to maintain your speed and whatnot. So um, I would recommend that to you guys. And. Uh, other than that, if you guys are thinking about getting this plane, this 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 package or one of these two planes, it is highly worth it. These planes are really really well done. Um, you know, there's a little bit of tweet, you know, a little bit of uh, issues here and there, like the, the, the Toga with the default FMC. But if you use this FMC and learn it, uh, you might be able Toga might be able to work 100%. But um, other than that, it's a pretty fun plane. I'd recommend it. I'd recommend it for sure.
to all the nervous liars on today's flight. Our first half is still playing, is flying in sim. <laughs> Alright, we're above 10,000 feet. It's going to increase our speed. And yeah, VNF's still not working. That's got, I think, I have flight change on, or flight level change, or whatever that is. But yeah, we're good. Need a squawk. Oh, we're not flying online. I really don't care for the squawk code right now or the squawk code. We're squawking 0001. Wait, how do you work this transponder actually? Yeah. Okay, I guess I was like TA? I think it said TA. I'm at a pretty good rate. Turn that down a little bit. Well, I hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> Hope you guys had a little laugh after that first departure, or attempted departure. <laughs> Amazing. What does 7700 mean? Or what? Oh, you mean like for the squat code? Oh, for the squat code, it's uh, it's it's an emergency. Go to the room, Chacha, what's up? Welcome to stream, glad you can make it over you're doing well. I see you flying the X-Crafts, I have both of those. I don't really fly them anymore since I flew them as a beginner pilot. Now I'm flying the 738 and 757. I mean, th th this, these planes are not necessarily for, I mean, this plane specifically, like, these planes are, you know, they're not, um, they're not difficult to fly, but they're pretty fun, they're really fun planes to fly. I mean, nothing's really a beginner level aircraft, unless you get, like, a freeware that only has, like, five buttons to turn on, but... Other than that, I mean, most of these paracrafts are not really, you know, a lot of them are beginner friendly, but a lot of them are also just like, just depends on where you start from. I mean, I started from like 737s and 747s and whatnot, so that's no problem for me. 
as a beginner, but then I started going to like these type of aircraft and GA aircraft, which actually ended up being harder for me. So, yeah, it's like I I didn't really start with small aircraft. I, again, started with 737, so as a beginner, those were like beginner aircraft to me, but um, yeah. All right, Owen Eaton, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you see you uh, by the landing. Hopefully I'll see you then. And if not, then I'll see you in the next one or see you near the end. And I hope you, you have a uh, great time out, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Wait, DJ Quads uploaded a new uh, song. Avid kind of had a little bit of a thumper on that CRJ. <laughs> Remember me, is that X and Viro? Yes, it is, Joey. It is X and Viro. Albuquerque would be out already. Is there not an Albuquerque? I thought there was. Maybe there is. Maybe it's just not good. I don't know. Mr. X Albuquerque was supposed to be out already. That's what I thought. I was thinking, I think I thought Mr. X already had his Albuquerque out. Does he not have it out yet? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Did not know that. No way. Does it actually show our what? Oh, okay. I was about to say, no way. Does it actually show our, show our flight on here? I was like, no. That would be so cool. I saw those, like the little screens like that, just going like right past them. I was like, no way. But no, it's not. It's just static into New York. Damn, that would have been awesome. I must have all Mr. X scenery. <laughs> yeah, scenery. Scenery is really nice. Super nice. Day uh, my my B day might do November six nine 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 when you uh, get old. Uh, older birthdays are not the same. Oh yeah, birthdays are not the same when you get older for sure. But happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. 
Yeah, it's definitely not the same. You're waiting for Albuquerque as well? Yeah, I mean, if I if once Albuquerque comes out, I thought it was already out. I mean, if it's not out yet, then I'm going to have to do Albuquerque one of these days. i to definitely do Albuquerque one of these days. What is the next aircraft uh, for the VA going to be? I don't know yet. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe more 737s. Uh, sense of uh, flights are sense of crews getting larger. Might just order, order more 737s. Uh, temper for the time being. But the next one, I probably say more 75s and maybe a 74 if we could get that. But we'll see. He said he'll try to have it done by end of October, and but I guess not. I guess he's making HD trees, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, the HD trees are gonna look amazing. I've been, I was, I was been, I was actually watching, looking at the post yesterday about it. Um, the HD trees. Yeah, I can't wait for the HD trees to come out. That's gonna be, that's gonna be such a game changer for flights, like like GA flying and all that. It's gonna be an absolute game changer. We're gonna auto throttle take over for now. We don't need flight change. We're gonna auto throttle and uh, vertical speed take over. Yeah, HD trees. I know he updated Portland. I know he did a small update at Portland. He uh, he made he changed the he made the the little ground uh, taxi lines or the parking uh, areas uh, HD. And he also added dynamic lighting to the taxi sign, so I need to fly. I need, we need to fly Portland at night, maybe one of these days, because the dynamic lighting for the uh, for the eight taxiways are pretty cool. Just adds that little bit of extra to the scenery. I'm gonna go back to Portland. I hope he does uh, Washington, Denver, or Tampa next. I, uh, well, uh, Denver would be pretty nice. Denver's kind of the scenery that's out for Denver is like unless you if you if you don't have photo reel, it's kind of bland and boring. But if you have if you have scenery, it actually does look pretty or photo reel does look better. I would actually like to see one maybe for Tampa or Washington though. Washington D.C. would be a pretty cool one. It would be a pretty good one. Tampa too. Tampa doesn't have any good sceneries either. Like there's no good scenery out for Tampa. See what's on the right side. Nothing. Left side's better. That wing view is awesome. You need to get some ultra realistic uh, vid with that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really do those videos anymore. I used to a long time ago, but I don't really do them anymore. You can always convert the FSX payload for Tampa. I don't know how to do the. I don't know how to convert or anything. I have no idea.
damn. Is there like some event going on today in uh, in Austin or something like that, or San Diego to Austin? Because there's a lot of people departing San Diego. I remember, I think some of you guys were talking about that. I'm just watching on Vatspy right now. There's like a Congo line going all the way from San Diego to uh, to Austin. Must be some sort of event that I didn't even hear about. I should have probably attended that. I didn't see that event. Oh yeah, World Flight is today. I forgot about that. Is that what that is? Please, I hope this isn't World Flight. I was going to attend World Flight. I hope it's not. It, it is World Flight, I missed it. Maybe I'll do World Flight Day 2, because today's World, World Flight Day 1. I was going to do the Anchorage flight, but they do it so early in the morning. They did, like, super... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, they did, like, super early in the morning. So I couldn't attend that one. It's like, their, their hours are weird. Yeah, their hours are, their hours, it was like super early in the morning, so I couldn't attend. I didn't know what time I was going to be at, so it kind of sucks. Alright. Uh, Yunato, Yun, Yuntao, Yuntao Chen, are the, uh, are these plug-in at headline? What? No, no, so I can't see those. It's, uh, it's an OBS plug-in. I can't see it, but you guys can. The only way I can see it is if I go on my second monitor and look at the stream. Um, so it's not actually on my screen. That's what you're asking. Dang, I can't believe I missed World Flight. I can't believe I missed it. I'll get a link for you guys in case you guys don't know what World Flight is. No, World Flight you don't have to sign up for. World Flight you can just get on and go. Oh, I, for I forgot it was today. I completely forgot World Flight was today.
It's okay, there's day two. Yeah, there is day two. There is day two, but I want to do day one because they, they, they flew from Anchorage to uh, to Juneau, then Juneau to Seattle, I think it was. And I, I really want to attend that one. Oh, no, it's not Juno to Seattle, it's to CYYC, so Calgary. going after Austin let me see where they're going after Austin uh, after Austin they're going to uh, Mun. they're going to uh, Cancun basically how do you come up with the name drifter because I like drifting Oh, damn you! Do you, uh, you do have to pay tax when you turn Oh, you only you only have to pay tax if you have uh, some source of uh, source of income, and you only have to make after you have a certain amount. I don't know if it's per state, but I don't have to pay taxes unless I'm making five hundred dollars a year. Uh, specifically, five hundred dollars a year. So if you're making over like five hundred or a certain amount, uh, don't quote me for five hundred dollars, but it's around there. Um, if you're not making that much in a year, then you have to pay taxes. But as long as you don't have any source of income, uh, you don't have to pay taxes. You're exempt from it, so don't worry about it. Uh, Drifter, my name came up from old like Xbox days. I used to play Forza a lot. Seattle, they don't pay taxes. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do have to pay taxes in Seattle. I'm pretty sure. Everywhere you have to pay taxes. When you were uh, creating the 737 regular livery for the MV Air, did you fall asleep making as I change the color of the A and it's all over the place? What? I don't know what you're talking about. taxes they have to pay taxes doesn't matter they have to pay taxes if you're yeah yeah if you if you're a US citizen you have to pay taxes you're not exempt from you're probably thinking of income tax there's different taxes income tax you're thinking probably of probably income tax Alaska doesn't have income tax either but you still have to you still have to pay taxes I don't even know if Washington. I don't know if I don't know if Washington has to even pay. I think they have income tax. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know the state of Washington enough, but pretty sure they have to pay tax. You have to pay taxes. It's illegal if you don't. I'm pretty sure you have to you have to have source of income is mandatory, otherwise Spirit Airlines would be number one airline. A 
I see someone with tax invasion here in the future. <laughs> taxes do suck, but something you have to do, and uh, they're not, you know, taxes are not fun. Thankfully, I haven't had to pay any, but since we get a dividends up in Alaska, they're, they try to get you for taxes and stupid crap on that, but yeah. I don't state income tax in my state is rather nice. Yeah, income tax would suck, dude. I, I can't imagine how bad it would suck. Evasion? I was like, invasion? I was like, <laughs> invasion? Invasion. Yeah, having no state income tax, or uh, having no income tax is pretty nice. You have any ideas about the new triple seven update? No, I have no idea. Uh, the only the only updates I get is what they post on their forum post. But I am watching it. I am watching it closely. I live in California, so <laughs> California sucks to like. California is one of those states that's good to visit but sucks to live in. <laughs> For certain reasons, you know, like a lot of specific reasons, but not going to get too much into that. But uh, there's like a lot of reasons as to why it's not a good place to really live. Is Magnite making one? No, no, no. He, he's helping. I think he's helping develop it. He's not making it. He's just helping develop it. I don't know. I don't know what his contributions are, but he. I guess he's. He has uh, something. He has a little bit to do with the uh, with helping in it. Oh, Magnite already came out with the new update, but it's a small update, it just fixes, it just fixes stuff. Yeah, Magnite already released a 1.01 update fixing stuff. <clears throat> Minnesota, you have to pay for a one or two more taxes, but you get the perks like health and dental insurance. Young, so don't judge me. Ah, that's all right. It doesn't matter. I don't really know Minnesota that well. So it's like I don't really know any other states that well. But California goes deep in. <laughs> I really wish there was a better one. Uh, this is my favorite. It's my favorite plane so far. What the seven eight seven? Or the triple seven? You're talking about the triple seven. New York is where you make the uh, moolah and you 
walk around in your handy dandy two thumbs up suits. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. You can make money anywhere. You can make money anywhere and wear a two thousand dollar suit if you wanted to. But he lives in Burnsville, Minnesota. It's very nice and clean around the uh, Twin Cities, in my opinion. I have no idea, so... <laughs> yeah. Let's see where we're at. Make sure we're not going to cross over the top of descent anytime soon. We are already supposed to be descending. Nope, go down. There we go. I think we'll be fine. Alright, speed's going to maintain 280, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and do a pretty steep descent. At this, at this, at this altitude, we should be fine. Be fine. be able to make it 20 to 22,000 feet. Triple Seven. They just released new pictures. And they're gonna have an interior cabin. They they uh, they have the uh, interior cabin. I even see this when they released this. They released it yesterday. There's a new picture of the cabin view uh, from yesterday. Uh, from yesterday, looks nice. They don't have the 3D cockpit, but the uh, yeah. E-175 or E-195? We're in the E-195 now. Yep, we made 22,000 by, uh, by our fire point here, so that's perfect. Alright, so 190, uh, 190 by, uh, Hydra. Gotta get down to... 190. All right, and we gotta be at 100, uh, 265 knots by Hydra as well.
Which one do I recommend? They're, they're both the same. Um, they're both, like, the exact same. Uh, you just get whatever one you want. They're both... I mean, the E195 is a little bit longer in size. Um, the E175, obviously, shorter in size, but it, it doesn't really... I mean, it's up to you. It's up to whatever you guys would uh, want to get. teacher you had to put up with a lot of bullshit fuckery yeah <laughs> fly factor triple seven no the freeware is triple seven the freeware triple seven is looking amazing so sadly they don't have a 3d cockpit yet but uh they're gonna be working on it i do believe um but they already have the uh first the, like the first cabin like the first like the first class cabin set up and it's it looks nice This plane descends like a champ too. Like this plane descends, man. It's crazy. So good. So good at descending. Cloudy. This is like the first time it's ever been this cloudy over Phoenix. I've never seen it this cloudy over Phoenix before. Crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta be... Where are we going to right now? Gila. So we gotta be at Gila. Oh, it's not really... Oh, uh, 11,000. Alright, we're gonna try to get down to 11,000 at Gila. Alright, 18,000 is coming up. Let's go ahead and go to X Enviro and get our weather briefing. Let's see, is Phoenix on the list? Phoenix right there. So altimeter is going to be... 299 or 8. I'm going to go ahead and pull up windy.com real quick so I can see the winds. So the winds are actually in favor of the of landing e or uh, west. So we need to change our landing to the west and like fast. So let's go and set our heading mode. We're on to punt right now. Punt is at what ten thousand. Okay, let's go and change the FMC up real quick.
Do we need to go to Agla? Just gonna change our. Um, just gonna change. We just gotta change our FMC there real quick, cause the winds are in favor of the west of landing west. So, yeah. Have you ever fly on an E-series plane before in real life? No, never. Speed back to two five zero. bit of turbulence. Yeah, wing flux is actually pretty realistic how it bounces like that. That's pretty cool. Airport up there. A little turbulent. Slowing down two one zero. Let's see, that's Chavo, yeah, 210 at 9,000, then our next is going to be at 7,000 at 210, which is Lemo, Lemno, or Lemo. Winds southerly at about 15, with gusts to 25 miles an hour, barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising, and no precipitation, we're about a half inch behind, direction a half inch ahead for the year, and one in 5,300 is behind for the, for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course the possibility Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar. However, the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system and that wide band of fairly heavy snow. There's no what will happen each time that you see the frontal system on there. That begins at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then you'll see the cloud pattern move until 2 o'clock this afternoon. So as of that time, of course, the front was way off in the northwest. Now, however, it's moving into the central part of the nation. Okay. It's gone C. Actually, clear off some of the stuff. So let's go zero low. 
there, execute that. We should be good. All right, we're gonna go to nav radios and we're gonna set our course uh, for 258. And then uh, we're gonna set our nav one for 110.75. That's gonna be our, uh, that's gonna be our ILS. Infamous DHC comment never finished flight. The the DHC comment that's one with like those weird engines, right? Like the weird engines in the wings or whatever. It's so weird. Such a weird plane. We're gonna go on heading here. And, uh, we're gonna intercept at maybe Hamick? Maybe Hamick, I don't know. Maybe Gypsy, actually. Gypsy's at 4,000. We'll be able to make that, most likely. I'll pull some speed break out here. My is, I don't think my, uh, what's it called, is on. My XP realistic pro, yeah, it's not. There we go. I was gonna say, why isn't it shaking, why is my screen shaking like it, like it usually does? Alright, let's go and start bringing flaps down. Bring our speed brakes in. Let's make sure we get our lights on this time. Go down for four thousand. John Beerfield, what's up? Welcome to Streamlake. Like, make it if you're doing well. It's we're we're actually on our last leg here, so you've got back just in time. Got back just in time. Gonna start bringing our flaps down, nice and easy, and we'll try to intercept at um, yeah, what was it called? Uh, Gypsy, but I don't think it's gonna happen because Gypsy's at four thousand. Might be able to intercept a little bit behind it. But we got our lights on this time, we got our auto brake set, we got our speed brake armed. Uh, we're going to start getting flaps down here pretty soon. Some more. Let's see, flaps 3 at 200. We're going to wait because we're at 210. We're going to bring it back to, we're bringing it back to 200 now. Uh, let's go ahead and start bringing the speed back to 190. I'm gonna fly Alaska Airlines to Alaska, common sense. <laughs> Bros, man, I know you always have uh, have me up late. <laughs> Ian Sullivan, man, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make over you doing well. You gonna check on your niece? Uh, I don't have to check on her anymore. My parent, my uh, my dad's home, my brother's home, and my sister's home, I believe, right now. Yeah, my mom, my dad, I like everybody's home now. I was gonna start making a left hand turn. We'll intercept at uh, Gypsy.
gonna bring flaps down. And bring it on over. And we'll cut the music so we can concentrate. Thought my OBS crashed, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, that on. You gotta make sure to change the source this time again. Oop, not that early. Wait for the localizer to come alive. I think it's coming alive. I think it's moving. I think. Yeah, there it goes. It's coming alive now. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Alright, I think it's aligning now. Oh, wow. We're really close to the airport. Probably slow it down. I didn't know we were this close. No, it's not that bad. I'm gonna toss the gear down. A little bit early on the gear, but let's increase our drag. Start bringing flaps down, nice and easy. And we'll take control here in a bit. We'll go flaps full. Oh my gosh, this night the over it's broken. <laughs> oh no. Oh recover. Recover not recovering, we're dead guys. They need to fix that. <laughs> I'm done, guys. I'm done. So, note to self, guys. Um, uh, do not follow what the what the what the speed tape says. Um, the speed tape is completely wrong. The speed tape is completely wrong. Um, geez, man, that's one thing they need to fix in this plane. A uh, second time, we didn't even go over the the, the over speed tape, and it just completely kills us. Let's see, what speed were we at? Okay, where's the, uh, let's go, go to where we got to the arrival. Okay, so speed tape was not even anywhere near the speed, and it just breaks. Yep, not even close. Okay, so if you guys are thinking about getting these planes, at least with the 195, I don't know if the if the one if the 85 is the same thing. Um, be careful of the speed tape. The speed don't follow the speed tape. Do not follow the speed tape at all. The speed tape is wrong. The the over speed tape is 100% wrong. Do not follow that speed tape. Um, the speed tape is broken. If you guys don't get like I said, if you guys get the get this plane, do not follow what the speed tape what the over speed tape tells you. Do not follow what it says because it's completely wrong. Um, so it's whatever. It, it's all right. Um, I'm just gonna end it there. Um, I'm gonna go play some uh, VR games with my niece and my family. So um, it's uh, overall, guys. If you guys want to hear a review of this or my 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 personal opinion about these planes, these planes are an absolute fun. They're an absolute joy. They're easy to fly. In terms of when it comes to like the controls and whatnot, but do not overspeed the plane. You can recover from plus. Yeah, you can recover, but these flaps come in. They they come in out. They go in and out really slow. Um, so again, note to you guys: be careful if you're going to get this plane. 
it's fun. There, it's worth it. But do not follow what the what the overspeed tape tells you guys. That's one note. Just don't follow it. Just go by what this. Just be careful of your flaps. Just be careful of your speed. That's one thing I noticed about this plane. Um, the other thing is just learn the FMC. You just have to learn the FMC. It's it's completely different. But I'm not gonna end it here. Um, <laughs> not gonna really watch a replay, of course, because that was uh, we just spiraled out of control on that. Um, let's see. Uh, we are still alive. No, we're not. If I unpause the replay, we're... Yeah, <laughs> so bad. That would be pretty scary. I was trying to recover from it, but I was like, yeah, these flaps are coming in way too slow. There's no way to recover. But other than that, guys, hope you guys have a great answer night. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll try to do the world flight tomorrow. It's probably going to be, like, super early in the morning. So for those of you that have, like, school and work in the morning, you guys may not be able to see it, but I will have an upload of it. But um, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's flight. See you guys. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Thank you.